بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone and welcome to This is Football Welcome to episode 72 of Al-Ahwa Can you guys imagine we're 72 episodes deep into Al-Ahwa Guys, it wasn't even me I was here with 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 uh, with the Chelsea panelists I'm about to introduce uh, You know, and the rest of the guys were, were late It wasn't even my fault, you know I was here on time You can even ask him I'm about to add him now to the screen You can add him You can ask him Big up to every single one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have shown us in, uh, you know, the Ahwa streams and in general, uh, you know. And before I even get started, there's already 300 people in here. We ain't even started the stream yet. Please do make sure you're slapping the like button. Do make sure you're subscribing to This Is Football if you're ready to do so. We're at 28.1K. We want to get to 21.2K. That's the target. Uh, we have two watch-alongs and a reaction at... at 10 coming your way tomorrow, inshallah. There is Ahwa this Sunday, again reacting to the games. And of course, the big one, Liverpool versus Man United, the watch along, inshallah. So all of these games are, are, are here. And yeah, there's a lot for us to discuss. There's a lot for us to talk about. Big ups to every single one of you absolutely incredible people. And yeah, like and subscribe. So let me introduce the guy that was here first. You get me to be fair to him. and He was saved by Cole Palmer. Yesterday, you know, cold Palmer, cold Palmer, cold. It's hot in Jordan now. Finally, I'm in my element. As you guys can see, no hoodies, no cold. I'm not complaining about the weather. It's all good, alhamdulillah. Joining us on the channel today, replacing Ziyad. No eyeliner, no kiwis, and proper lighting. Man like Ahmed is in the building. How you Ahmed, brother? Listen, man. Listen, man. I'm doing amazing. Sensational. You know what I mean? You can name it all today. Listen, man, it's a cold world, but I'm just living in that cold world. You know what I'm saying to you? Big up to my guy, Cole Palmer. Uh, listen, man, I'm very happy, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I mean? My predictions, they're coming right. You know, they call me Houdini of Chelsea. So, you know what I mean? Like and subscribe, guys. Make sure to know what's going on. Who calls you Houdini of Chelsea? Who, who says that? I can't specify those names in it. You know what I'm saying to you? Those are... TVD, to be, to be discovered, to be discovered, man. What's this classified stuff you're on? It's man, classified. They call me the Houdini of Chelsea. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah. listen, man. Listen, man. You know, people can say, "Are you happy about the? Are you happy after?" Listen. Getting wins, a win is a win. You know what I mean? I can be learn place, but listen, man, you gotta take the positives at this point. I don't know what people want me to. Say. I don't know what people want me you to. You have a right what... to be happy after that crazy game. Yeah, you know, man. Just, just listen, man. No pun intended. Yeah, man. Come on. I'm just happy. Listen, you can, listen, man. After that perform, after that last minute winner, I mean, you, you have to be happy, man. We can talk about the performance and how bad it is. Listen, I'm very critical myself, but at the end of the day, man, happy of that win, man. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, speaking mm. of someone who's won, oh my god, we beat Luton. Oh my, oh, we beat Luton at the Emirates. Oh my god, we are amazing, we are incredible. Oh, validation kink, Arsenal fans. Oh my god, we, you know, we deserve so much respect for beating the mighty Luton at home. Before someone tells me, oh my god, you drew for, for, we, against that, yeah, we drew away from home. Hold that, I'm talking about at home. You get me. When when Luton come to the Emirates, I expect Arsenal to win. Stop with the validation. You get me. So, yeah. Uh, joining us on the channel is the biggest Moroccan fraud known to humanity. Um, man, like Sad is in the building. How are you doing, Sad? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Big up to everybody in the in the, in the thing, man. You know what I mean? We're we're here, bro. We're here. Yeah. Seventy two episodes in. Yeah. 72 episodes in. Hey, listen, we're flying right now, man. We're flying right now. Liverpool are flying, you know what I mean? They can't lose. Uh, Man City, no one really cares. I think it's all a bit plastic over there. I just Whenever I think of Man City, I just think of plastic bottles, bro. It's like a bottle cap, you know, something that needs to be thrown away, do you know? But anyway, listen, we move on from that. You know what I mean? They can hold that jaw, you frauds. Um, But big up, big up to everybody here. Listen, the like target is 400. Let's make sure we go and hit that, please. Like, can we just hit that like target straight away? I need you guys to just smash the likes. Absolutely smash the likes. Um, Get it done for us. Uh, you know, we're working so hard to get these episodes out for you guys every single time. So make sure you're getting that done for us. Uh, big up to Hassan. Big up to... It was Ahmed, yeah? 
Yes, that's correct. Bigger Ahmed, bro. Bigger Ahmed. You know, we, we got a different Chelsea fan today, yeah? Not one that's just going to sit there, potch out straight away, bro. That's the only thing he says, yeah? Just potch out, bro. Well, I, you already know, because because <laughs> the fact that the fact that whenever whenever Hassan asks him about the fixture, he says, right, Ziad, tell me about the game. Potch out. No potch, potch out. out. <laughs> no, no, no. You you oh, say my. to him, no yeah, potch, potch out, out my club. Directly. Say club. anything. Say anything other than potch out or get potch out of my club. <laughs> you know long time supporter of this is football and the guy I you know mean. who broke the super chat record to make sure hamza may posts it by the name of andrew has a message for you quickly oh no one calls ahmed the houdini of chelsea oh he my giving himself that name right now <laughs> oh my god listen it's again same. That's so interesting, man. Maybe not him, but there's others, you know what I'm saying, man? There's others, you know what I'm saying? Why does Andy sound like he's done out, bro? He's His actually... Name's he Andy. Like... You either say Winter Surfer or Andrew. <laughs> so, Andy, you're a though. fraud. Yeah, this guy, all lie, bro. All lie. Listen, it's Andy, bro. It's Andy. Okay, <laughs> Khalas, your, na- your new name, your new name, Mujtaba. Your new name. I no, make a new no, name for you. No, it's what what what's oh, short, this guy? His what, name is Andrew. Even they're not Andrew. 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 Where's the wife? I can understand A A A N D, but I can't understand the wife. Yeah, where are, where are you nah, bringing the wife? That's, that's the shortened version of um. That's the short shortened version of Andrew. I don't know, man. I can't, I, I'm not sure on that one, man. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> so Allah, they're calling him Saadiya. That's bad. Saadi <laughs> is crazy. Saadi is crazy, man. <laughs> no, no, but that's the shortened version of Andrew. If you know, you know. Even uh, it, ask ask him, and he'll say, "Yeah, I get called Andy." Like, bro, mm. ask him. He's he's right. he's gonna come out and say he gets called Andy. Are you done with it? I, I expect I expect Hassam, yeah, a, a person who's not from England, to not understand that people call them Andy, yeah. Yeah, he, well, you should you should know, bro. You've probably sh- met like a hundred Andys in your life or lie, bro. I'm just trolling, man. <laughs> bro, what you is Nigel Farage you Did you just say you're not English? Get out of my country, basically. That's what you just oh, Damn, man. man. You know what I'm saying, God, man? Bro. Why is this guy always go to an extreme level, bro? Damn, man. <laughs> First of all, man, this guy just called me a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> you all laughed at me. Well, I have to say, you're not laughing now, are you? <laughs> he even got the right guy to say it as well. And everyone's oh, fan Farage in the chat right now. That is everyone's crazy. Everyone's fan Farage fan fan in the chat right now. Oh, man oh, basically oh, said, oh. you're not from my country, so don't get it. That's crazy. Anyway. You are. Uh, why why has been calling me a xenophobe? What's going on? You're a xenophobe. <laughs> you're racist. Man said, um, get out of my country. That's crazy. They got it, man. man. It's, you don't it's know about the Andy thing. thing bro. Andrew, you're watching right now. Can you please make sure to tell Saad that, that it's your nickname is not Andy? He just made that shit up. Can you explain to this fraud right now? What a fraud. Man making up shit on Andrew's name. People, you either say Andrew Winter Surfer. Andy is not a name that he accepts. You know? I've called yeah. him Andy so many times. He's never, ever said anything. Never said anything, bro. So... <laughs> Oh my god, See, man. even Martin's calling you out. That's mad. Big up, Martin. Big up, Martin. There you the are, you frauds. Martin will make his debut on the channel tomorrow, inshallah. You get me. Big right, up, Dayo as well. Big up, Martin. Debut big tomorrow, up Martin. inshallah. Absolutely. Look at this guy. How about you just get some snake oil in your beard and shut the hell up? Anyway, uh, joining us next on the channel is the man, the myth, the legend, of course. Inter Milan fan. Did they win this week? Let me check. Who did they play? I think they did. Pizza topping they played. Oh, they played Impoli. That's the pizza topping. They beat Impoli this week. You get me? So <laughs> the fraudulent judge is here to spam corruption all over our universes. I don't know why he looks so angry right now. Well, I don't know why. Hello, Mo. How are you doing, brother? He's so mad. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Why are you co- why are... Hold he on. Looks, he looks angry. Why, why is sad? Calling out Ziad and uh, him himself, like why you're calling out your brother Ziad, bro? Why you start your, your the show with calling yeah. out Ziad? Can I? Can I? No, 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 because because we're gonna get something other than potch out. So you're calling out Ziad again? It's gonna be. It's so gonna be calling out Ziad again. That's double call out of Ziad. 
No, no, but it's, it's just going to be something refreshing. I wouldn't change Ziad for the world. Are you? Are you? But are I wouldn't. I wouldn't change Ziad for the world because I feel like he's Ziad. He, is that what no, you're no, saying? No. You're, yeah, you're gonna get a different outlook on Chelsea, bro. Relax. Why you these guys are always trying to create drama? You know, Mo and Hassam, it's good that they made they made a channel together because they're the ones that are always trying to create drama, they're the ones that are trying to create these storylines. You know what I mean, bro? When the writer strike happened for movies, why are you upset? Why are you upset? Like, you are the I'm one you're the one who you're called out. Listen, <laughs> listen, you're frauds. You did you did Briggs it on Sam. You did Briggs it on Sam. <laughs> Yes. Oh my! <laughs> the episode has had ten minutes on, and you called out the ad, and you the Brexit or Sam? What is gonna yeah, happen Brexit. next? I said Brexit. Oh, you gonna call Brexit. me a, a pharaoh, or I'm gonna camel? What is gonna happen? Bro, what, what is, is gonna this, happen? Uh, what is this? Bro? What is gonna happen next? Camel. Did you camel call him a pharaoh? The camel is crazy. Uh, uh, can I call me a Horus? The next part. La la la. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this conversation. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's get on to the show, man. Well, like, what's going on here? What are we doing, bro? Yeah, can you can you just let so so you're just gonna keep uh, fraudulent uh, being fraudulent, acting like you didn't read the private chat? You think I'm not elongating this intro on purpose because Vel is so I unprofessional? Am. I am. Oh, Vel is unprofessional. We can elongate mm -hmm. this. We can elongate it and call out Sad again. Sad, why you're calling out? <laughs> no, I can do this all day, bro. I can do this all day, bro. I mean, no, why? Why? Why are you so fraudulent? Why are you so fraudulent? We need to ask that question. Why? I can ask that. Mm. I'm I'm so fraudulent. I became more fraudulent since I why? knew you on the Lahawa. Why do you, no no? But but but, but we need to no, ask I'm the just, question. I'm why you, bro, do you, I just Why you. do you? Why do I you? Was, back I was a little. Team? I was a little fraud. Why do you I was, back I was, every I was fraudulent team? like this since I knew you. No no no. no, 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 no you were fraudulent. fraudulent before me. You were fraudulent before me. I was. I was. I was. I was level two. You do though. I was level. I was level two fraudulent. Uh, I, I was level too fraudulent. On, I've clocked onto what you do, though. I've clocked onto what you do. Mo well, what do I do? On team on one day, and he'll play devil's advocate and 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 cuss out a team that he was, or he he will play devil's advocate and he'll go against the team that he was back in the previous day, bro. Yeah. Well, like Never anyway. So you can have, yes, saying, yes, you have. Yes, you have. I want, I want proof. Arsenal. And I've seen you back Manchester I City never, and Thunder Arsenal previously. I actually, that's the difference. I there never actually. I don't back Arsenal. I say the truth. The problem is you have a thin skin. And when I say Arsenal are no in the Champions League, hold on, hold on. When I say uh, now, when I say Arsenal in the Champions League are babies, you get upset. No, no. But when we, I say I am the one who backed your club and I said you're gonna win every game until said, City, you didn't. That has different prop. That is it's different. You said, Me back mm, in your team. You hold said on. me back so in your team. Get in the it right. League. You said who's your daddy. What happened after that statement right there? What happened you, after you the again, who's your daddy you wanna, statement? You want again, you want again, is you want again, is uh, uh, Porto, which is expected from you. Let's see you again, as the big boy. Let's, let's see again, as the big boy. We got past Porto, alhamdulillah. I mean, that, that shouldn't be something to be clapping about, bro. That should, that shouldn't be something to be clapping about. That, we got over exactly. that hurdle. We got past why exactly. did you again, the big boy. Why are did you, you gonna, heritage not be here? We go. Are you in the Champions at League? At at the the are you going to be able to get past Bayern? Are you no, going no, to get past Bayern? Wait, 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 I'm going to ask him a question. Since but, you brought up this topic, right? Are you going to beat Bayern Munich? Yes, I think we will. All right. Then. You better, man. Sane is a doubt. Uh, Koeman doubt. Mazari is a doubt. I think uh, apparently. I think there's someone else. Noya is not going to be starting apparently either. It seems. I can't lie to Neuer you. Wasn't, Neuer wasn't starting for them anywhere, I swear. Uh, apparently, it was the other guy. Oh, is it? Whoever it is, at the end of the day, man. Uh... All big guys out, man. So, hey, if you, if, you, if you don't win on Wednesday, or is it Tuesday? I can't lie to you, man. It's not looking good. No, there's always a chance in the second leg. It's just harder. Okay. Uh, okay. Um... Long enough for you, Hassan? For me, I'm just argue all like. Oh, man. Yeah, anyway, smash course. the like, guys, please. Mm. Thank you. Of course. Of course, of course. Okay, so John is on the channel, finally. You get me? We can, we can uh, you know, do this. If I get copyright infringement, Vel is getting deducted pay because this guy's useless. Joining us on the channel, you guys know how we do it when your team loses. 
612 people in here hit the like button subscribe and uh, yeah また。もう、いずくだけで再生数1万は増やしてるわね。お母さん怖くて見れんわ。それは古い動画。昔起きた大災害。その直後、一人のヒーローのデビュー動画。<笑> Bowen's corner's up. Oh no! Oh no! Wouldn't do it. Now, if you super chatted a thousand, yeah, I guess I would do it. Fuck it. There's Werner on the left. Come on, boy. Oh, 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 yes, a very simple, easy tap in for Brendan Johnson. That's a goal. Very simple, very quiet. Oh, how quick and how sudden and how simple are we? Wow, 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 with a goal. Brennan Johnson. I wasn't even ready for that. Ainge isn't even happy. <laughs> hey, so by the way, can I just say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both. Nope. Bowen's corner's up. Oh no! Kurt Zuma treated the ball like a cat and he fucking hit it. He just hit it. He hit it right into the net very easily. He dunked on us. I thought he likes to use his feet when he abuses animals, but instead today he used his head. Yo, what's good, chat? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another watch along. It's Manchester United. Well, I should say Chelsea versus, since they're the whole game. It's uh, Chelsea versus Manchester United today. Three two. Rashford into Garnacho. Three two. Where's the Chelsea fans now? Where's the Chelsea fans in the, in the comments? Come on, what's, what's happening? Titan Century. Oh my god, Connor Gallagher, 1 0. Oh my god, I told you guys this guy would score against us. I told you guys this guy would score against us. I said it on my preview yesterday. I said this guy's gonna crash the box on a cutback and score. And he just scored, bro. I just fucking told you, man. Connor Gallagher already, already bro. The game just started. And credit that, Vader. Credit that. How about that, bro? Tell me in the chat. Credit him. Four, four minutes we're already 1 0 down. I'm tired. I'm used. My pride is bruised. But I'm still on my his, um, Palmer shoots. Oh my god, we lost it. Oh my god, we lost. Oh my god, we lost. Oh my god, we lost the game after all this. We lost the game with a deflected goal. We are a joke. 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 We're a joke of a team. We're an absolute joke of a team. We're a joke of a team. Two minutes left on the clock, and we give him a penalty, and we give him a goal. We're a joke! We're a joke of a team! Malak oh Bell strikes God. one more time. Big up the Bell, man. I'm fucking, I, I was dying with the Jacob one. I was dying yeah. with the, the Jacob one. The Jacob one, one was and when he hit it, that's the next to him. <laughs> Bro, so we we guy. wasted we wasted 17 minutes to start the show just for Vel to put the same song he put on every intro this season. The same Sean Mills song. 
You wasted 17 minutes of my life to recycle the same joke. Wow. It still works. It still works. 17 minutes I'm never getting back in my life. Anyways. Big up to honesty who says breaking the area sound surrounding United's Academy base has been closed up after human remains were found just... Yeah, this is legit, by the way. Yo, what's happening at Man United? Uh, so basically, what happened is outside the training ground, someone took a shit. Salmonella chicken shit outside. All this. No, that's that's actually real. Someone took a shit outside the training ground. So, yeah. It's oh crazy. my lord! No, 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 no! It's not a shit. It's actual like uh, someone that is uh, you know what I mean. Oh like right. That, yeah, yeah oh, really? they found oh, someone. Yeah, that. yeah, that. that's what it is. Yeah, Who thought human that. remains means someone took a shit? <laughs> yeah, no, no, they it. said it on a tweet. They said it on a tweet. It was they said something else. Yeah, but human remains you know, means somebody defecated. Does it mean defecated remains and, and feces are, are two different things? Bro. Yes, go on. yes, 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 yes. Remains salmonella <laughs> chicken pits in the toilets. Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> what is this? Not <laughs> 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 not not someone taking a shit. Human remains, someone dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Big up, guys. The short version of sad, sad, like wah, wah. Yeah, inshallah, come May time, we'll see the real wah, wah uh, come back. Big inshallah, up to you, Mina. Ever. Inshallah. Big up to Half Time Hooks who says, Why do you hate me, bro? I don't hate you. I just think you have beard oil, and it's so obvious. And I just want it to be natural. I believe in natural beauty. I don't comb my hair. Big up to you, Half Time Hooks. Uh, big up to TKA who says, Big up, guys. Thoughts about Dalo yesterday, Safi. We'll get into it, don't worry. We'll let we'll get Safi to talk about Dalo and all that good stuff. Um, I want to offer a proposition to the people. I want to offer that I know out of the 750 people, there is a massive asshole in this chat that's willing to do this. Guys, I have two videos that I have played for Saad, Ahmed, and Mo, and they know that they're worth it. I think Safi watched this as well. Ray Ray gets exposed for what he said about McAllister at the start of the season. I will play them for a 30 pound super chat. 30 pound super chat, I'm gonna play you two Ray Ray videos getting fully exposed to what he said about Alexis McAllister. It'll be the best 30 pounds you've spent in your life because he finally gets exposed for the whole McAllister stuff. I'm telling you right now, it is 100% worth it. I'm just saying, I trust in the assholes in the chat, you can, you know, you can convert it to your local currency. There's an asshole willing to expose Ray Ray right here, right now. 30 quid, and I play the video, and it's the best 30 quid you spent in your life because this guy's been calling us all out all season long, and these two videos are going to ruin his entire thing. Um, big up to Redline and Tarango says, Liverpool should beat United as long as the players don't touch the chicken. <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine they go to the cafeteria. Yay. You want some chicken, lads? No, bro. I don't want some chicken. I don't. I don't. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Big up to you, Red Line Tarang Habib. Big up to you. Thank you so much for the super chat as per usual. Anyway, um, 750 people in here. The offer has been placed on the table. Big up to all of you guys. Please do slap the like button. Do subscribe to the Swiss Football if you're yet to do so. Every single one of you guys, like and subscribe. We have 750 people in the building. We can get to 400 likes. ASAP. Mods, keep pushing the like stuff. We want to get to 400 likes. That's our initial target. Um, and yeah, let me go to Ahmed first, not just because he's debutant, you know, and already sad this thing Ziyad, but let me talk about the Chelsea side of things. Um, tell me your thoughts on, on the game yesterday. Uh, I'll be honest, man. At 90, I would say, I, I think around right after when they scored 3 2, which I think was 67th minute, I didn't think, yeah, it was happening. I'll be real with you. Like, you know, I thought it was GG's at that point. Like, I took, I actually turned off the game. I was just I went about my life, you know, breaking my fast, eating some food. Generally, I logged off. I, I knew, because, you know, usually with Chelsea, <laughs> I'm like, 3-2, it's over, man. You know what I mean? Wrap it up. And uh, I remember, yeah, 98th minute, I just get like a little, like, you know, buzz <laughs> on my on my watch. 3-3. Three, three. I was like, nah, that can't be real, man. I had to, I had to put it back on. And literally, the moment I put it back on, all I see, Cole Palmer, you know what I mean? Moxos, you know, assist. Big up to Moxos, you know what I mean? I told people that's why he's a good midfielder, man. And Ahmed, sorry, one second. Bilalik, I have to interrupt. <laughs> we have got it. Big up to Winter Surfer, who says I'm doing this in two parts. And then Josh just drops it in one part. I'm going to show you why it's worth it. 
every time Ray Ray is in a comment section calling me out or any, any of the Liverpool fans, watch what he said about Mac 10 at the start of the season. In the chat, you want him sold. Is that the case? Did you say no? Nah, I just said send him back to Brighton as a joke, innit? Oh, okay. All right. First, first, first. Go on. But like, if That's he continues a, these, a if, he, if he does continue these performances, then I will like genuinely say send him back to Brighton. Do you get what I mean? But like, if if he continues this, but like, I, I'm just judging him based on what I've seen so far at Liverpool, and I haven't been. Callis Ruiz is the Argentinian Harry Winks. Like, Jesus. Gen- I know it might be too early to say it, but you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to think. I, well, I mean, to be fair, the quality, yeah, they, have same, they have similar qualities to me. Sure, Jesse. They have, they, they have similar qualities. I'm not Jesse, sure, man. <laughs> this Jess guy, yo. I'm just saying. I'm Jesse's just saying. I, I watch Harry, I, I've watched Harry Winks. Like, Harry Winks at his first. Oh, Harry Winks at his first went to the Bernabeu away. And was possible uh, at his first. Just saying. All right. Cool, we are saying, all right, but yeah, go on, carry on, right? You know, what is with, with this absolute nerd McAllister, yeah, I'm calling him, he's a nerd, bro. Like, why genuinely. is he a nerd? Wait, why is he a nerd? <laughs> now, nah, you can just see, like, he's this proper, like, shy, like, guy, like, genuinely, he's just he's you, yeah. Liverpool. Like, uh, man, I can't believe I was there for that one. <laughs> I can't lie, I caught second hand embarrassment from that. I don't know, like, he I called that. I've McAllister. never, right. I've <laughs> never <laughs> seen a man. <laughs> I've never seen a man with zero good takes. This guy. Um, no, no, no. Hold on. This guy. No, no. Listen. This Every time this guy opens his mouth, there's just L's coming out. I can't believe it was a costicle a player and I thought that was a good thing for a player. Man, like, man dude, zero good takes. Bro, this guy, he speaks. You know what I listen to, bro? You know the you know the clown music at, at the at the at the circus. That's what I uh, that's what I hear, bro. Bro, that's that's all I hear, bro. It's is 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 bro. Bro, the vim that Sappy said that in, yeah. Bro, this guy every time he opens his mouth, bro, it's an L. Wallahi, bro. This guy catches oh, zero yeah, dubs, bro. I don't even know what to say. Even, <laughs> even Joe's saying got to be one of the worst takes ever. How do you go on a camera and you fully say, and you fully say Alexis McAllister is the Argentinian Harry Winks? But I don't oh, yeah. expect, I don't expect nothing, uh, you know, more than, um, the, than the person who done this. Sorry, By the way, but can I just are. say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10s today, both of them. Oh my god, man. I can't even look at that man. See, so you were saying oh. secondhand embarrassment. That is secondhand embarrassment. Yeah, yeah, I swear. yeah, yeah. Every Love time it, I see I have it, bro. Words. <laughs> Allah, bro. Allah, bro. Hey, apparently, because because flawless, flawless is an arsehole, yeah. You know what he done after that, bro? Apparently, after that, he was like big up. <laughs> no, but he just read the chat. It's so sad. Like, what can you say, bro? It's like flawless just it's moved on. Mean, it's, like, on it's, like, it's like. It's like Flawless gave him a few seconds. I, I don't even blame Flawless. The guy just shot his shot. Flawless allowed it like four or five second, seconds for it to lend. Zero reaction. The guy just had to be professional and he just moved on, bro. Like, he, you know that little four seconds of, of the screen being on Flawless's face and he's just staring at it? That should be a meme. Like, I'm going to go screenshot that. And every time I see something that just like stuns me on Twitter, I'm just going to post it. You know, like when Ten Hag says, we dominated the ball. That was me. I'm just like staring at the screen. Like, <laughs> we bro, played you know, that's another guy who has a good text. You know, before him. we let Ahmed land this point, I know hey, I can yeah, happen. Yeah, him. Yeah. I want all of you guys to just spam W's in the chat for Winter Surfer and for Josh for making us experience that greatness. You know, W's, W's, W's right now. I told you guys it's going to be worth it. I told you guys it's going to be worth it. Argentinian Harry Winks. Anything that Staffy, Mo, Ahmed, Saad, or me say in our entire YouTube career will never be as bad as this. It will never be as bad as Argentinian, Argentinian Harry Winks. W. Andrew, not Winter Surfer, not Andy, you get me? W. Andrew and W. Josh in the chat right now. Anyway, Ahmed, sorry, but we had to interrupt you for that. Uh, you yeah. know, this is crazy. No, no, I appreciate it. Right? 
crazy takes. He has crazy takes. Zero good football opinions. Guys, 800 people are in here. Mods keep pushing the like stuff. You get me now? We can finally move on to Chelsea United after we cooked Ray Ray. Ray Ray, wallahi, you deserve this after all the shit you've yeah, been giving crazy. me all year long Ray on Ray every single back again podcast, on every Hussam X, Tom Little, and the words of Staffy. I've never seen someone with zero good with zero good football takes. That's you. Big up to you, though. No, 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 no. Football you. takes. Takes in general. Alina. Just the t- like uh, he, not hey, just football. Don't don't put it down to football. Anything, bro. Anything he says yeah. is bad. Hey. Um, anyway, go on, Ahmed. Have you talked to me about so, the game? I, I was at the whole three section after Maxwell's, you know, obviously he put that in for us. 4-3. Honestly, at the end of the day, bro, that whole three was a shocking surprise. You're corporate oh. in this. Huh? You're part of that corporate. take. Are you well, part no, of that no. take? No, no, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. I have not said anything about. You didn't I say anything. You... Did you apo- did you did you stop the guy from saying that? I'm having to take. What, you didn't apologize. Did you didn't oppose him. I didn't see anyone saying anything. I saw you guys. Stand I was shocked. Him. What do you mean to say, bro? Anything. Bro, I was you, shocked, bro. What do you mean to do? You basically like allowed it. I listen because listen. Well, you know what? Some people... like, makes a crazy take. Sometimes you have like thirty seconds of shock. Just you getting shot. From you have to kill, you have to let them you have to let the winners kill them. You oh, know? Forget, I forget the kill them. I want to talk to you about yesterday's game. Let's start with well, the Chelsea yeah. game. Talk to me. Yeah, but, but yeah, listen, man. Uh, for me, in the first 20 minutes of the game, uh, I actually thought the team we were a bit more on the front foot. We created some chances, obviously. The first one, obviously the first goal by Gallagher. I think good strike by him, but at the same time, I think Onana has to do a lot better there. But you know. It's the story of the season with him, sadly, when it comes to Onana. Um, I feel like the second goal, which is the penalty, obviously, I feel, yes, the penalty, you know, you can say it's a bit, you know, a bit soft, a bit light, but at the end of the day, it was given. And um, a pen is a pen, you know what I'm saying to you? So it is what it is. Big up to Cole Palmer for putting it through. But I think the thing with us was we kind of essentially let them get into the game. You know, Caicedo gave them the opportunity opportunity to go and actually to score his first goal. Then obviously five minutes later, they, um, they were able to get that goal by uh, um, Bruno Fernandez. And what happened was basically after that first goal, after the Caicedo error, this you know gave United more confidence. And you know what? They're like on the transition, man. They they they, they will kill you on the transition. So that's one thing I'll, I'll give I'll give United um, credit for at the end of the day. But listen, we got our job done. That's what matters for me. You know, I hate United so much, bro. You know, I say to you, I was awake when they destroyed you know my first UCL Cup dream. You know what I mean? You know, at Moscow. So for me, winning against these guys, it means How a lot. How old were you? Uh, that was 2000 and I think eight or nine. So that means plus two, 11, or roughly 11, or like uh, 10 or 11. So I thought you were like 20. No, no, no. I'm not. I, listen, I know I look young, but I'm not. Yeah. Mashallah. Mashallah. Mashallah, of course. But yeah, I think for me, when it comes down to it, though, at the end of the day, um, Listen, we got the win. We need this win. You know, I, I always talk about the fact that because the other guys around us are crumbling and we're semi-crumbling, you know, we can, there's still a possibility for us to get Europe. Obviously, it helps us now. If you beat Sheffield United, most likely, which we most, which will, you know, big game for us, you know, I mean, that's bigger than United for me because you know what Chelsea is like against the lower teams, you know, I mean, that's like, our, you know, that's like our Manchester City. So hopefully we beat Sheffield and um, we're in seventh place. With some level of Europa League football, at least, you know, and with a game in hand to United, who will most likely lose to Liverpool, in my personal opinion. Of course, that might not be the case at the end of the day, and we'll be two points behind them. But hey, I'm happy about it. Yes, there were some people who had stinkers, bad issue, my brother, worst season from, he's having a bad season, but, you know, hopefully next season, man, he brings it back, he has his confidence back next season. And we can hopefully move on from him. Again, Disarcy, I expect what I'm expecting from Disarcy because I know next season that guy's not starting. So I already accepted that, you know. He, he can be, he's going to be a bench player for us in the future. And hopefully we're bringing someone in to replace him. Petrovic is um, doing what he can at the end of the day. I don't really have any opinions on him. Kukurea, hopefully he's gone in the summer. It's really as simple as that for me. Gusto, I can forgive him slightly because of the fact that he's coming back from injury and he's been our, one of our best players this season. Uh, Caicedo had a bad game. There's no denying that. You know, brain fart, simple as that, really. Uh, Enzo, I feel like Enzo, you know, again, decent. I think Enzo was kind of, I would say, decent at the end of the day. You know, he, he had a quietly good game. Mudrik, you know, was ghosting. But again, you know, I'm not too surprised of him. I feel sorry for Jackson. We're playing this guy like a target man when he doesn't have that real ability to be doing that. 
He was facing Maguire, a guy that, that you know just gonna have the ball. I don't know why we kept him doing those long balls to him. You know, what I mean, it's just like it's like the little forgive all over again. But you know, it is what it is. And Cole Palmer, man, Savior Palmer. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's what we're just gonna have to call him. But listen, end of the day, three points is what I wanted, and we beat United. Happy days. Can I ask you a question, Ahmed? Before I let Staffy talk about like his side of things, of do you course. think people are doing too much with Cole Palmer? In what sense do you mean that, by the way? I don't. Want, As uh, in, okay, yesterday, scoring a penalty in a pressure moment is very important, 100%. Mm -hmm. So we have to give him credit. I'm not one of the guys that rubbishes penalties. I have to say, I have to say, big up to, to, to Cole Palmer for that penalty. But are we overdoing it with his performance yesterday, acting like he had a master class and he destroyed this and he destroyed that? I feel, honestly, he was, he, he had the low on strings. I'll be honest with you, bro. Like if you are gonna be, if if you are being honest now you know again listen you know I feel like in this day and age you know scoring penalties you know it's a bit more harder because you know a lot of these guys just like missing penalties in it so if you can score penalties I'll, I'll be honest man it is what it is man you you got you got to take those and he scored the winning goal albeit yeah he may have been assisted slightly by McTominay but hey it is you know I think his performance was very good but again. It, you, his performance is going to look better when you have other guys around him that are, not, are maybe not playing to that uh, to a high enough standard. I think if you put a striker next to Palmer, he'll cook even more. Honest opinion. Uh, yeah, again, the but again, you know, I feel like I feel I kind of this Jackson is what I kind of him. Sterling is not him. Mudrik okay. is not him. You need one more piece. But, but, you but, need wait, one yeah, so for, so you, you know my thoughts, right? I've said this yeah. before. I my expectation of Jackson has already been met. Because I already know this guy, he's not going to be a lot of these guys. They're not going to be ready. They're not at this level, but they're meant. The idea is for them to get to this level. So this is why when they're dropping stinkies, I'm not like you know maybe as other Chelsea fans are getting angry at them because I already know they're not there yet. So as such, why am I good? There's no need for me to be you know surprised about the performances that they give. If that makes sense. Do you think Cole Palmer okay. will do this when he gets known in the league? Yes, that's the biggest challenge, actually. That's a good that, 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 that again, that's the big challenge for Salah, him. first season I'm, versus second season. Yeah. You'll see Amr Zaki. changes. Oh. Unbelievable. Best example, best example in the Premier League history is Amrzaki. From Egypt, went to Wigan, scored a bunch of goals. First half of the season. Mm -hmm. oh John God. Terry spoke about him in an interview, and then the second half of the season, he scored no goals. They sent him back. <laughs> this is because this is why for me. This is why for me it's going to be very important that he continues to again develop his his game, improve as a player. You know, you, you, that, that that's why you need to have new tricks in the book. So hopefully that hopefully you know that that's something that he does in the summer after the Euros. Hopefully, if he does go to the Euros, and you know, also the other thing about that is you got you got to hope in Kuku is going to be back maybe next season. Hopefully, you know he exists maybe. You know. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, wait, wait. I mean, I know, you know, I mean, he's like Lavia, man. I, I, I keep on looking at his uh, RB Leipzig tapes, so <laughs> I don't even know if he exists yet. But uh, again, hopefully, hoping Kuku is going to be there, so there's more, more of a connection there, more of other players around him that are gonna, you know, be surrounded about him, but that defenders have to worry about too. So it's a bit of both him improving his game and then having other pieces around him that are gonna help to improve his game too. Hey, your time to shine, Manchester United. What the hell is happening, brother? Like, what the hell is happening? Sam, uh, <laughs> you lagged out there for a hot second, bro. <laughs> like, no, I mean, glitch. Was that just glitch. me, bro? Was that just <laughs> no, no, he, he, he did. He had a little glitch here. There you are. He did. Yeah. There you are. He did. There's, there's I'm no going to say Brexit means Brexit. I'll leave the stream, Adi. Lovely, man. What the hell just happened? Bro, he just left the stream. It's all right. I know retention while I was like, it's a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, so, stop. You're talking to me about Man United. There's no shining, brother. There's no time to shine. There's nothing to shine about. I'm Manchester United. We don't shine. Um, the sun will what, shine. What Tomorrow. can I say, bro? What can I say? Uh, what can I say uh, that I haven't said in what? This is 17 defeats now. Come on, the people have gotten bored, bro. Can't say the same thing and and 17. expect them to be entertained. Is Were you good before the two goals? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You were celebrating the goal before the 3 2, and you thought you would win the game, right? Yeah, I did. You thought you'd won the game, right? Yeah, yeah. So you thought you'd won the game, right? Were you happy at that time? Because, by the way, I don't want, I, I don't want your analysis. Of, I, I know I, I, I saw your watch along and at the end of it, and I saw what you said about the capitulation and all the stuff and the game management and all this stuff that you said. 
but that's different from the performance. So how do you analyze the performance? Three, two up, away at Stamford Bridge. That, apart from the last two minutes, the last two minutes is mentality, isn't, it's game management. That's not within the game though. How do you analyze the game? Well, well, well the thing is, the, the, the changes, the substitutions we made have made it worse. We didn't improve after the substitutions. But that's not surprising because his substitutions usually make us worse. Um, what was I going to say? We've we've lacked the control of games all season. You know, I say control of games. There's a difference between controlling the ball and controlling the game. We don't control games. We allow teams to come at us in large parts of the game. I'm going to be very honest. The only reason we were 3-2 up is because they allowed us to come back into the game. We should have never come back into the game. They quite literally gave us a goal. Like, Caicedo passed us the ball. That's that's what it is. And But fair enough, you still, it takes some type of mentality for you to come back from being 2-0 down to 3-2 up. So I won't discredit them for that. They did well to do that. We grew into the game. We start looking better. Anthony and Garnacho, to be honest, were our, our best two players. Anthony, for once, looked Brazilian. Like, I used to say this guy's Bolivian. But he ended up being Brazilian. No, no, well, I used to say... Bolivians, bro. Bro, listen, I That's respect crazy. the Bolivians, well, I but like, Bolivians, I, bro. I just never heard about it's a footballer. It's not called Peruvian, man. It's not called Peruvian. No, 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 respect per times. Peru. Peru actually has some ballers, bro. But I just never seen a Bolivian footballer. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, I'm going to just pick the one country That's that I don't crazy, know footballers. So, yeah, yeah. So I said, believe believe me, he's Bolivian. But then he turned up he turned up yesterday and he was Brazilian. And listen, what an assist that was outside of the foot, Travella. He had, he had Cucarella on strings. The only reason people were talking about the lows because I have this fan base on strings. That was the, the only reason. Bolivian talking, bro. Is crazy. He's Bolivian, bro. Well, he's Bolivian. Listen, the only reason people <laughs> talked about I, I, the lows. Believe is because... Bolivian is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Stop is just on smoke today, man. No, well, it's not my first <laughs> time saying that. Believe in to, the Bolivian. I used to tell them, believe me, he's Bolivian. He's not Brazilian. But but yesterday who, who was he was Brazilian. That they used to have Bolivia. Was it Bo Dallas or some shit? Oh yeah, Bo Dallas. No, that's a wrestler, man. Is it? All you have to do yeah. is Bolivia. Bo yeah, yeah, he was Bolivian. But no, no, on a serious note, yesterday he was he was he was actually Brazilian. He found his Brazilian passport, and he absolutely cooked Cucarella. And what I liked about his game is that he he did something we haven't seen him do in his his time at United, which is he was direct, which is usually not. His dribble was effective, a.k.a. beating his man, which is something he hasn't done a lot. And he was going to the outside instead of to the inside. Every time he took Cucarella to the line, he passed him. And uh, Anthony is really not the fastest player, especially with his, he's short. So he has like shorter strides. I, I couldn't believe how 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 uh, um, how uh, slow Cucarella was. Because Cucarella was going to cook. The, he burned him so many times and he's not even a fast player. At some point, I was like, bro, like, in, in after 60 minutes, just put Rashford on the right because you just want to keep attacking Cucarella and, and win the game from there. But it was him and Garnacho that that, that did really well for, for this team. Uh, the law had a poor game, but um, all these people that are obsessed with my take, as I said, I have these guys on strings. That's why they talk about it. But the law had a poor game, unlike the whole of the season. He's been very good for uh, this season. And let's be honest, he got cooked by Palmer, but I, I already rate Palmer. So I don't know why people it's like it's it's like you can't get you can't win it both ways. You either rate Palmer or you just make fun of Foden. Uh, sorry, not Foden, the low. If 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 you don't rate Palmer, then you really can't be doing this. But that anyways, doesn't mean it's okay for him to get cooked though. You can draw I, don't a line. Say, I, I didn't think it's okay, but like he got cooked by someone who I rate. He's 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 a very, very good player. I'm one of the people that said from the beginning that I think he's better than Saka. So if he cooked them like that, then it means oh. that I, I wouldn't mind it. Because it's not like I rate the low. People have an obsession with any football take that I say over here. It's because my football takes go a little bit more trendy than yours. Because people don't know. They know me and they don't know you. When I said the low was the best performing right back in the league, it's because it was on form. He's still better than Ben White. And if you wonder, oh, but Palmer cooked him. I advise you to go to YouTube and look up Ben White comps versus Rashford. You're going to see the grass very clean because of how much this guy just mops the floor with him. Oh, uh, okay. you can more, go consistent, ahead and... more consistent, please. Come on, don't dunk on my guy like that, bro. Please. It's, it's, bro, Love listen, the... I didn't bring your guy to this. They keep bringing your guy to here to, to me. And I said, listen, how about we talk about Gusto? Because Gusto yesterday wasn't good. 
and he got a yellow. Garnacho cooked him, and he got hooked off. Does it mean all of a sudden we don't rate Gusto? Chill out, chill out, chill out. He didn't get no, no, no. He actually got taken Ahmed. off by injury. Yeah, Ahmed, Ahmed, oh. Ahmed, Ahmed. Did he not beat him? Put him on a yellow. I, did, I did didn't say more. But did he perform more? I didn't. I think he performed average, but he didn't. No, no, he had a poor game. Just say he had a poor game. Trust no, me, I don't think he had that much of a poor game. You don't think Gusto had a poor game? A hundred percent. Gusto had a poor game. I think he had the. But, his but here's the thing. Like but here's the thing. I rate Gusto over the low, and I said Gusto is going to be the right back for the next ten years in this league. Does it mean all of a sudden that I don't rate uh, Gusto? No, because I, I actually understand football. I'm not like the average fan sitting here. But anyways, a lot of players yesterday had below average games. You know, I heard a lot of people also talking about Menu, another obsession that this fan base has with me. Um, how about Enzo? Enzo had a poor game. How about how about Timberland Caicedo? Thank you for the assist, Caicedo. But the guy runs around in Tim's. You know that he, he looks like me when I went when I go to New York. When I go to New York, I want to fit in, so I wear my Tim's and I go. But they feel very heavy when I walk, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie, I go home and I feel like I did like a thousand calf raises because them shits are heavy. You know what I mean? Oh no, Casamigos, everyone knows I don't rate Casamigos. Casamigos, listen, Casamigos, every I, I got I officially yes that I got my Can first I, apology the one on guy Casamigos. That has cooked the most, probably. Oh, bro, bro and I told them in the I, summer, I, bro. I told them, and this one clip that went viral and everyone attacking me they said I don't know what I'm talking about. Yesterday I got my first apology on Twitter. Someone at me and they were like, Apologies for what I said about Casemiro. You were right all along. The guy was just jogging on the pitch. If we're being really realistic here, we can sit here and just name about four players that actually performed yesterday. Obviously, uh, Cole Palmer on your on your side. Even though I don't think he had an amazing game, but when you call game the way that you did, because let's be honest, you need ice in your veins to put two penalties in one game, especially in the mm -hmm. same spot. The fact that I knew he was going to go to the same spot and, and Unana didn't just says everything about him. Like, Unana, you, you're absolutely an idiot. And uh, what's it called? I already gave Anthony's praise and Garnacho's praise, even though I don't really give Garnacho praise at all times. It was a poor game, if I'm being honest with you. If we won it, I would have celebrated. The only reason I wanted to win is because I wanted to shamelessly celebrate with against Chelsea fans. Like, my behavior on the watch-along yesterday was not normal. I don't do these things. Like, when I said this, I was like, where's the Chelsea fans? It's because I have a lot of Chelsea subscribers. So it's like, when we were down 2-0, they were cooking me. When I tweeted, oh, the low, what an assist, best right back in the league, it's because I was actually beefing with them in the chat. I was like, watch this. I'm about to tweet to piss you guys off. So it was more of like a, a bragging rights. And I lost. I lost because my team has no balls. And at the end of the game, they just, I don't know what to say. Bro. I thought you controlled the game. No, no. Ten Hag thought we controlled the game. Okay. I didn't. I, no, no. Actually, the apologies. Ten Hag thought we dominated the game. I don't know what Ten Hag watches. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This guy's a joke, bro. Listen, I said this to troops earlier on his channel. Hold on, hold on. Stop, to... stop, stop, stop. For the people in the chat, apparently people don't know what Ten Hag said. Right, guys. Stuffy, tell them what Ten Hag said because people don't know. He said, "I, he I don't know." Holly... That's why I'm just smiling. He said, "You really don't says... know." You guys haven't seen the interview after the game. No, that's crazy. He, man. he, he said, that's "Crazy." He said, "We dominated the game, but the game is about uh, football is about results." We started poorly. We gave them two goals, but we did well to come back into the game and we controlled all of the game. And then at the end, we just mistakes and we shouldn't be doing that. And that we play a high quality football and we need to sustain it for, for 90 minutes and we need to get the results. This guy actually sat there and thought that. Like he watched that game you know, just like us. The problem and, that, is it more of a problem? He said that or he thinks that? What, what, what's I, the, the, well, it's the same thing because I think he, he actually does believe it. If you sit there, I'll tell you something. If I sat here and said, you know what? We were unlucky yesterday. We played a high quality game. Everyone right now on the panel in the comments would cook me. They would be like, look at this guy. He's deluded. He's the he's the United Egal, blah, blah, blah. They're going to say, bro, they're going to cook me in every way. They say, I'm just being too positive. This manager comes out here. And mind you, this guy actually has coaching badges. And he says that. Imagine having coaching badges and you look at this game and you think that you dominated the game. Brother, you didn't dominate the game. It was two shit teams. And one team just was gonna win. Allah, and I said so that to really I said that on my preview with, with Lewis, and I was like, bro, I mean, honestly, bro, someone's just gonna win. So they were like, no, 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 draw. I'm like, I get it, but like I'm just saying the result is just gonna go somewhere, right? Are we really gonna sit here and say anyone deserved it? At the end of the day, I I, I would like to think about the, the game this way: Chelsea lost, United lost, Cole Palmer won. That's really what it is. The guy bagged the hat trick. He, he 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 was the only like no one left from Chelsea in my opinion deserving three points other than him. The rest of the players got three points just because they put on the same jersey as him. 
he's the only one that deserves to go home with with three points because he actually like he did something. Everyone else, bro, is just a, honestly is a joke. Potch is a joke for celebrating the way that he did. Ten Hag is a joke for thinking he dominated he the job, game. Man. When they were beefing, bro, but that's why, bro, both of them were celebrating because both of them job, are just bro. trying to save their jobs. That's it. <laughs> the way the they were celebrating, both of them celebrating because they want to save their jobs. That's about it because they're both desperate, bro. When they were both beefing on the on the sideline, I was thinking, I was like, probably someone told the other guy, like, yeah, you're 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 getting sacked in the morning. That's it is. That's what it is, bro. It's two idiots fighting, bro. That's why I put that I put that tweet uh, yesterday of the clowns fighting. Two clowns just uh, just throwing punches at each other, bro. It's a middle, bro. Absolute two clowns. You know, and the the game was just good for the neutrals. Imagine on a day where we, we've seen seven goals and a good a game where everyone enjoyed it, and I'm the only one who left with a loss. Still, ninety nine no, percent of wasn't. people were happy with it, except for, for me. The neutrals, it wasn't, bro. It was it was a good it was a good one for people that just like to see goals. The people that actually understand football and watch it for for for, for, for how the no no nah, nah, you enjoy this side. Don't lie to me. Don't you, lie to you, me. You, you don't. You had a very good laugh side. You sat there and you looked like you said you said look look at both of my enemies. These guys used to bully me. <laughs> yeah, yeah but that's from a rival point of view. Listen, I was creasing just because I saw that video and you didn't even change the score. All I've seen is stuff you like, oh my God, we've lost this. It still said three. I couldn't believe it. Bro. Well, I couldn't believe it. And <laughs> oh I just updated my. the score by two. I updated it to four right away. It was it so quick. I didn't, I didn't do it, bro. Well, it was so quick. Says, I forgot. Bro, it says three, two to Man United. Yeah. And I said, and oh my God, we lost. I can't believe we just lost this. I can't. Bro, we're clowns, bro. Listen, oh we're absolute two clowns, bro. We're two clowns. We're two. We're, we're two hit girls at the club that are trying to fight. Who's who's better looking? But both of us, no one wants to approach us. We're ugly, both of us, and one of us just left with something. And as I said, they just had Cole Palmer. He called game, and that's what it is, bro. We don't have someone like that who can call game for us. Actually, the one player that was actually doing well, who was on a hat trick, he took him out and put on Mason Mount. And what an idiotic decision that was. Three two down. You bring on Mason Mount and you get the crowd rowdy. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why are you bringing on McTominay as well in the midfield? McTominay, we need a goal, bring on McTominay. We need to defend, bring on McTominay. We need to control games, bring on McTominay. Yeah, what is this McTominay guy? Is he some type of magician? That, does he have secret abilities that I don't know of? I said he's like a Swiss knife, but he only has one option. You know a Swiss knife that has a cork, has those little scissors, it has a big knife, it has a small knife. That's what a Swiss knife is. You could use it for so many things. This guy's a Swiss knife, but he only has one knife. And, and, and that's it. He scores headers. That's it, bro. I have a midfielder whose best attribute is scoring headers, bro. Came on the pitch, didn't see anything, bro. You know, and all these injuries in the defense. This team, bro, this whole team, the only thing I'm looking forward to, wallahi, is the season ending. I swear to God. And listen, enjoy the watch-alongs because I'm done. I am never doing watch-alongs again. So enjoy it while it lasts. Because when the watch-alongs are over, no more. Next season, I'm not putting myself through this again. This is an absolute joke of a season. I made my debut in YouTube to, uh, on watch alongs and we're picking up the most losses since World War One. Nah, bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, it's it's not happening World again, bro. It's crazy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> bro, that bro, is I'm telling you, bro. Every record in the book is being is being uh broken on my head, bro. No, 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 no. I'm not doing this again, bro. I can't First lie, lost to Chelsea since 2017. Like 2017. Bro, at one point you were coming up. At one point you were coming up. Every hour episode, bro, this guy was coming. These are the records that Ten Hag has broken today. <laughs> okay, you want to know a new record, Sad? We are officially, we are officially the biggest butlers in the Premier League. Let me tell you how. Against Brentford, we bottled the lead in the 98th minute, okay? We went to 1-1. Yesterday, we bottled the lead at the 99th minute and 17 seconds officially this is the latest a premier league team has ever given up a lead and lost no one has ever yeah, lost a game while winning from a later time than this we are a joke of a team bro we conceded 59 this joke manager came out is and said my, is, my take, is, is my he, take coming to life a little bit now about it's looking a little bit better i don't mind it yeah I mean, like, if I'm being honest, I was two. I was two minutes away. I from doubled being down on that take. You're the one who took it back, Mo. So you can't now bring it back again did. to your side. No, no, no. no, 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 I, no. I'll tell you what Mo well, said. I tell you the difference. I tell you the difference. The freaking Pochettino abandoned everything he stood for in the beginning of the season and started playing different football. He literally abandoned everything, bro. He started playing defensive football. Started playing players out of position. 
started doing madness, bro. The problem is when he sticks to the way he plays football, like, he, by the way, he did yesterday. I thought Chelsea would thrash Man United 2 0. Man United looked lifeless. If it wasn't for Casado, Man United were dead. Forget this Ten Hag guy. By the way, the halal would throw if people know what that means. And I don't know. Just vibes. In English. Vibes. Halal would throw his vibes. Yeah. Halal would throw his vibes. It's vibes. Like the, the way Man United came back is vibes, bro. Man United were dead. Maguire was out of his depth, bro. Varane didn't know what to do. Kobe Meno, by the way, yesterday, in the first goal, by the way, the guy made a rookie mistake, which is expected from him. And I took a snapshot of it. He stood uh, in front of the ball, and instead of tracking the guy who's running next to him, knowing that his le left back is out of position, that's not a DM role. He, he doesn't know. He's not experienced. I'm not going to blame him. But my point is, Man United yesterday were dead. Chelsea had a plan. Chelsea were isolating Cole Palmer with Diego Dalo on that left side. Every time they get the ball, they were trying to do that. The whole plan was to isolate Cole Palmer with Diego Dalo face to face. And they fell for it, Man United. And it happened over and over again. And, and this is a plan. I don't what, what was Man United doing? In the first, in the first half, I didn't see any plan for Manchester United. I, I just mm -hmm. didn't. It was literally, let's wing it. You know what? Let's see how the game takes us. Yeah. What is happening? What is going yeah, on? You know, can, can and we, we, Dalo gonna... on. Was a... one second, Sad, because there's something I want to move on to. As Staffy said, I kinda we kind of all agree here, you know. Man United stink 100 percent There is like I don't think there's any surprise that United stink. There's one thing I want to talk about though, and Mo has touched on it. I want to open up this can of worms. I want to open up the Pochettino can of worms. Because right now. By the way, guys, we are 14 likes away from 400, which is our initial target. We have 850 oh, people in here. Let's get 400 likes ASAP right here, right now, please. Let's push to 400 likes now. Anyway, Pochettino. Currently, Chelsea are three points of seventh. That's where I predicted them to come anyway. So they are meeting my personal expectations, given where Chelsea are as a team, given who they signed this summer, given, given the serious lack of experience. If Chelsea do beat Sheffield, which is obviously like as much as Chelsea do sink to the occasion, they do sink to the occasion, I admit it. They play worse against the worst teams than they do against the better teams. If, if Chelsea do uh, actually beat Sheffield <laughs> and Arsenal end up beating Brighton, I believe Chelsea are now in seventh place. Which is exactly what I predicted them to come. At the Chelsea start of will the finish above us this season. I'll just say it for now. Chelsea will finish above us. Ahmed, we have what too many. Because I know you are pro Poch at the start. Are you still? Well, no, no, no. Hold on. One second. And I really pray he does. I really pray he does finish ahead of us because I want these Chelsea fans now to actually go back on their word because a lot of them said, "Oh, we should be somewhere near the top four, top five, blah, blah, blah. I pray he finishes ahead of us. So I can see what they're going to start saying about Poch. Because as shit as Poch was, I, I'm being very honest. Yesterday, when we got back into the game, I couldn't believe how some people can watch Chelsea and just blame the manager. The manager didn't tell Caicedo to pass us the ball. When the Sassi passes the ball and, and we almost had another goal, the manager didn't do that. All the individual mistakes that they were making, giving away the ball, being shit in the final third, all these little technical mistakes yeah, has nothing to do with, with the manager. Project? Okay. No, I'm no, but, but yesterday I got to see it more because when you watch your team, at least for me, I pay more attention to every little detail. Where sometimes I'm watching Chelsea, I might be on my phone a little bit, stuff like that. Yesterday was the epitome of that. He 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 set up a plan where you went up 2 0 in the first, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is. And then they allowed us back in the game with stupidity and inexperience. And then when, when Gallagher gets the ball, he's trying to switch it to Mudrick and he kicks it in the stands. You want me to blame Poch for that? Oh, but 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 but, but pl Poch plays him, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter. You have so many individual mistakes from your players that you just want to over highlight it by the manager every time. At least your manager sets you up in a way where you could see it and be like, okay, this is what we need to improve on. I'm in April and I haven't seen one game where I understood what we we're trying to do. You need to understand how privileged you are that you actually see something on the pitch. I go into every game not knowing what's gonna happen. I legit don't know what's going to happen. It's like opening a door in the dark. I don't know if there's something inside or not. I'm just going to walk in and say, Bismillah. 
That's what so I do with another the game. Question I just is, turn on the game and I say Bismillah. Do you think, Poch, hold on, Ahmed, one sec, because I need to ask this question so I can land the point. I just want to find out. Something. Do you than think, than... no, no, do you think, no, no, we know Poch is better than Ten Hag. Bro. My nun is better than Ten Hag. I 100% Poch is better than Ten Hag. Um, no, no, everybody's better than Ten Hag. That's not even an edgy opinion, bro. Bro, please. I, I just want to know. Are you? Do you think that Poch should stay now uh, uh, at Chelsea, or should he still be sacked? I, I think he should, man. Me? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah, Stuffy. Stuffy. I think you'll eventually have to leave, but I, 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 I don't think. I, no, I no, Stuffy said he, he needs to be sacked. No, no, I said he needs you to be sacked. You and Stuffy Mo have both I said. I said he needs to be sacked. Me and Hassan are the ones being called dickheads on chats and saying, "Oh, look at these guys." Hold on, Stuffy. Let us justify. Let's, the logic is because the chest, mo, it is the sense. My logic all along was yes, they are. That was actually my logic. All no, no, I'll tell you what. Me and Mo, and I think me and Mo were were just uh, similar yeah, on this one. We said we both both of us said just by the results he was given. Yes, he does deserve the sack because some yeah, of the results yeah, were yeah. actually shocking. However, me and Mo saw that even getting rid of him wasn't going to fix these issues. So you can sack him based on the fact that the results are bad. But there's Chelsea fans that the legit think that if you replace him with another manager, they'll automatically compete for top four, which is not the case. There's so I many bad like players it. in this team that even when you get rid of the manager, you're going to have to still get uh, uh, new players in the summer. That's the only reason. We we and Mo basically gave up. We we're like, oh, let's fuck it. You, you know what? You're right. The results are bad. Get rid bro, of him. Bro, but it's not going to fix. I don't, deal, I don't deal with patience, right, son? There's a difference between I don't deal with patience, right? I don't. I told you. I am an Inter fan. We sacked managers after five games and six games and eight games. We literally did. Is if a manager is sitting 10th in the league after halfway through the season, that is absolute. that's even way too far. You consider yourself a big club, you're 10th or 11th, you're bottom half of the table, the manager is gone. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. That there is no context here. However, I'm there the one who said all season that Chelsea have a style of play. Have you ever had By the average age of 13, though? Yeah, okay, so that, that is a, that's a special circumstance. That is also right? true, you have to be honest. There's hella context, yes. bro. There's context as well. To explain why they're 11th. Uh, they're, they're, no, they're, but, but that's not... But, but exactly. See, that's not squad. true. I disagree with that. Squad, and people, said, hold, that on, hold on, Mo. There's, there's a lack of experience in the squad, and people use this, he's sitting in 11th, as just a, a headline. You know when you know when newspapers no. use, um, uh, use a quick buzzword as a headline to get catch people's eyes? That's what people say when they say, Poch is 11th. Okay. He's like three or four points off of seventh or sixth. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you guys keep. Do you know? Do you know how many? Do you know how many weeks I sat in the hour and I heard that he's three points off seventh. He's yes, been three points off. Do you know when? Mo, you know, since no, guys, guys, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Since November, we have been sitting here hearing three points off seventh. Now. Maybe it will come through because he is two games behind West Ham, and he actually, if he wins the game in Sheffield, he will equal the games of the teams ahead of him, and he will actually be seventh. But okay, but before can, that, I, can I tell you one thing? It's different. Can because I, can I tell yesterday, you, one thing, you know, agenda. You just listen to Staffy. Mo, Mo, you just listen to Staffy. What did Staffy just say? What does Poch have to do with the individual mistakes? What does I said have that many times with the Disati individual error and the Badiashil individual error? I, I, if you I, I, ask, I, I, no, no, let me, let me, I'll just say one sentence, then I'll mute myself. You ask if me, you, you ask Chelsea question. fans, 90% yeah. of them, what will they say? You have spoken to many Chelsea fans this season. Drop Thiago Silva. Let's start Disati and Badiashil together. They started together yesterday. You saw the disaster with your own eyes. You cannot blame the manager for an individual mistake. Regardless yeah, who it to... is, but, but the issue is fall off. By the way, needs to be on, let me let me. I don't know what happened. Ahmed, I'm gonna come to you. I'm just gonna say one sentence. If okay. the majority of the teams are making mistakes, you have to look at the manager because these are the tools he's given. If one or two making a mistake, and I agree with you, there's too many individual mistakes, but you have to look at the manager. Can he turn it around? Yes, I never said no because he has. But on that situation, when you ask me, should he stay or go? He's, he's done, bro. He's, he's tenth. Now, when he moved to seven, I would change my opinion. Same as Arsenal fans that when Arteta was absolute shit and sitting tenth and ninth, they said, kick him out. At that time, they were right. If anyone deserves now to flip-flop on his opinion, it's Mo. Because Mo backed him regardless of his positioning. The only reason, as I said, Mo agreed with the majority and said, fuck it, if you want to get rid of him, get rid of him, is because the results were going too terrible. 
But when he was sitting here defending, saying he actually has a style of play in the beginning of the season, and he explained that when the results are bad, it's because he resorted to doing something different than what he started in preseason. Now he has the license to go back and say, you know what? Nah, I was right all along. Because he was the only one that was actually explaining what he sees with Poch. Whereas Chelsea fans were being emotional and just sitting here like Ziad does every week. Poch out, Poch out, Poch out, Poch out with no context. Anything that happens, Poch out, Poch out, Poch out. He wakes up, Poch out. Goes to bed, watch, Poch out. Goes to work, first thing, not high, Poch out. Goes to home, first thing, doesn't say Bismillah oh, before he's there. He says, he says Poch out, Bismillah, and then starts eating. Bro, right. goes, <laughs> goes, goes to the masjid, bro. Allah mainly like a sumto on his kick off tart. Oh, touch out. Yeah. Bro, goes to the mosque, bro. Goes to the mosque. <laughs> Before he says, Salam alaikum. Yeah, Allah, ya Allah, ya Allah, ya Pot shout, Allah, pot shout. Yeah, bro. Ramadan Kareem, pot shout, Ramadan Kareem. Pot shout before anything, bro. That's what he does, bro. Right. Good night. Okay. Allah, I love Zizo. Let Ahmed go. Let Ahmed go. I want to hear his opinion. You know what I mean? My take actually. Kind of one. You go, you, the floor is yours. Listen, so a lot of people, they actually know my take, yeah, which is that before the season started, I predicted us to finish sixth or seventh because I had already accepted. A lot of these guys don't going to be ready. I'm not expecting top four this season or even fifth. I'm expecting these guys to hopefully, you know, get to some level of potential, get their, you know, um, learn the their, learn their trade, learn the league, at least improve. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Whether it be Mudrik, <laughs> whether it be... <laughs> That's crazy. And <laughs> 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 doing the 27th night prayer. <laughs> oh my and god, bro. He's handing the Imam a piece of paper. <laughs> Punch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, this is crazy. From the guy in the back. Punch out, <laughs> Imam is like, Allahumma <laughs> fillana wa rahamna. Allahumma akbir lana wa rahamna ameen. Allahumma tub alana ameen. Allahumma akbir lana amwatana wa amwat al-Muslimin. Ya Allah, watch out. Ameen. And I know a piece of paper. My sister is sick. My kid is sick. Please make the hat for my sister. Make the hat, Imam, please. Watch out. Watch out, please. No, that's crazy, man. Oh, Anyway, let Ahmed not go on, go on, Ahmed. Yeah, sorry. So, going back to it, yeah. So, my prediction before the season was six or seventh. And there was a number of reasons for that. Obviously, the players we had, you know, the level of the, a lot of these guys are potential right now. I need these guys to improve and, like, you know, get to a certain level. And I, I was, this is for me, two or three season thing. I had a, this is what the club was already going for. I could see with my own eyes. Of course, my expectation for Chelsea is always to win the league, you know, or, 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 or obviously, Berman is top four. But you have to look at what you have. And I think that's something, you know, I, I feel like sometimes we as fans, we don't see, you know, there's obviously expectations, but at the same time, there's obviously reality. And we, we, reality is, we've got these guys, they, we, need, we need them to have some time to improve and perform. Now, you know, with Poch, the issue I always had fundamentally with Poch, and I've said this before, was that I'm seeing something in the summer, but I'm not seeing it translated in the actual league. That was my fundamental always issue with him, personally. But right now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think he's getting sacked, by the way. So that I came to that conclusion three weeks oh, ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because... You guys, uh, sorry, Ahmed, just to just say something on this. I said you guys won the three points. I won the, the, the Sakiko battle. My man. Yeah, yeah you gone. did. You did. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go. I, yeah. And I said, Wallahi, I said on my preview, I said last yeah. time there was a Sakiko, I went against Liverpool, uh, not Liverpool, uh, Spurs, mm. and it was uh, Nuno Spirito Santo versus uh, Ole. And we won the three points, but they got Nuno sacked. And I felt it felt like a loss that day. Wallahi, that was the worst three points I've ever picked up in my life. I hated those three points. Today, I mean yesterday, alhamdulillah. I lost, I lost the the the, the battle, but I won the war. When Ten Hag leaves before Poch, when Ten Hag, you're gonna look back at this, you're gonna be like, Palmer, why did you score that? Go ahead, bro. But listen, he might be right, and but the reality is for me, and I said this before, we're in the semi-finals right now, the FA Cup, we went to the finals and did some, something shambolic, obviously, in the Carabao Cup. We literally, hopefully, again, I'm going to say hopefully, because you know what Chelsea like against Sheffield, we get the three points, and you look at him, he can go to the board at the end of the season when they're doing their so-called end-of-season review. Look, I got you to FA Cup semi-final, maybe he beats Man City and gets to the final and wins, you know, or even just gets to the semi-final. I got you to a Carabao Cup final, I got six or seven for is most likely Europa League. Why are you sacking me? Look at the plays you, you've given me. 
You know what I mean? I've got guys like Mudrik in my team. I've got guys like uh, the whole defence, Badi Shil, the Sarsi, they've all, all not been good this season. He can, and, and, you know, he has a credible case. So that's why he's not, for me, if he goes there and he does that, and they're not serious and they're just doing an actual statistical review, he's winning the battle. So, okay, okay. Uh, guys, uh, we have our final participant of Ahwa joining us tonight. He's here. Uh, you get me just some technical difficulties before we go to the super chats. Man like Jacob is in the building. How are you doing, Jacob, brother? Salam alaikum, y'all. How's it? Bowen's corner's up. Hell no! Kurzuma treated the ball like a cat and he fucking hit it. He just hit it. He hit it right into the net very easily. He dunked on us. I thought he likes to use his feet when he abuses animals, but instead today he used his head. Hi, Jacob. Hi. Is crazy. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Wow. I'm really, uh, Make sure guys really honored the cardboard there. straws in the chat. <laughs> big up, Jacob. Uh, welcome. Big up for the fresh stream as well. Uh, guys, let me just go to the Super Chats before we actually just move on to the Spurs game. And then after that, we'll just be doing predictions for the weekend. Um, I'll be revealing these scores as well. Uh, so yeah, big up to all of you guys. Please do make sure you're slapping the like button. Do make sure you're subscribing to This Is Football if you have to do so. We have hit our 400 likes target. So big up to all of you guys. Let's get to 500 likes. That's the next target. Get me. That is the absolute next target right now for us. So let us get to um, 500 likes. Mods keep pushing the like stuff. You get me. You want to get there. So yeah, big up to all of you. Uh, please like, please subscribe, all of that good stuff. I'm going to read out the super chats now. Big up to, of course, W's in the chat for Winter Surfer and Josh. Big up to Z that he says the second clip hurt like a kick to the balls, bro. My man called him the Argentinian Harry Winks. I don't think he's ever going to live it down for the rest of his life, like ever. You know, that's the worst take ever, Z that T. Big up to you for the super chat. Flawless played the ultimate villain there. My man said, okay, so moving on to the chat, he just fully said, like, he just fully said, F Rayad, you know. He didn't cut the awkwardness. He didn't do anything. I told people what's flawless. People think he's innocent. Told you guys he's a villain. 100%. My guy Ed with a 16-10 super chat. He says 16 out of 10 frauds, but fairs for showing your face. Said Ed. I'll be honest with you. Credit for uh, for Ryan. He doesn't hide. He's always in the chat, to be fair. So, yeah. Uh, that's one thing I always give him credit for. Big up to you as well, Ed, for the big super chat. I appreciate you, Habibi. Thank you so much. Um, big up, Ed. Hello, Ahmed. You have a message? Yeah, big up Fatur, man. Love. <laughs> Unusual W from Ahmed. Suspicious, he said. In no way you think it's that bad, Fatur. Big up to Andrew says, what I find weird is Chelsea fans calling out Saka pens, but celebrating Palmer pens. In my opinion, I don't understand why people cry about pens. You know, honestly, if, if Saka was good at pens, um, England would have he a is. Euros. He is. He is. Oh, would... He is. So don't do that. Wow. Don't do that. 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 He got close over that pens pen, in man. big moments, bro. He so won. Please. He won. He won the wolf that pen. That's man. Gareth. That's, that's, that's Gareth. That's Gareth Southgate's fault, bro. He's a. Prick. Can you let me finish? Can you let me finish? Thank you. If he was that good at penalties, they'd have a Euros, and you'd arguably have a Premier League last year, but you didn't. Damn. Broski, listen, don't even don't even get me started, bro. This You're talking about crazy, West Ham? Bro. Yeah. I could play that. This is so right fraudulent. Now. No, we don't need to play the clip. We don't need Sad to play you. the clip. You have tears in your eyes when you play it. Poor staff didn't even have the chance to change the score from 2-3 to 3-3. And it was 4-3. I, I need to hire an assistant, man. There's so many goals in this game. I, I only remember to change the score once. Every other time, the comments remind me, like, staff, it's been like 10 minutes. The goal was scored. Change it. I'm like, shit, my bad. I know, but staff, uh, I noticed in the intro, it's like 3-2 Man United. and then It was so quick, I forgot. I was raging at the penalty. By the time they finished, I, I didn't even... Bro, then the corner came out of nowhere and he scored. I was like, when did all this happen, bro? It was just it was just 3-2, man. I, I can't believe we've lost this. <laughs> bro, we're a joke, Allah. It's still 3-2, Allah. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll make up comedy as if players can have a player uh, that they struggle against. And for Ben White, it's Rashford. No other player in the league does that to him, even similar profiles. So, So why are people now... Trying to come at me for saying the low has been performing 
as one of the best right backs in the league, but he, because he got cooked for one game by Cole Palmer, now I'm supposed to go back on that. At least he did something that Saka couldn't, because Saka couldn't cook him like that. Oh my lord! Why are you going Saka on? Like, this, this, this guy, this guy is going after Saka, bro. Relax, man. We know your wingers think, think, bro. It's okay, man. I think Delo, man. You know, I think Delo is a backup at Chelsea. You know what I mean? Because obviously, Reece James is always out on it. So, Delo backup for Gusto, man. Any day, man. Twenty million. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Ahmed, if you're aware for, of this, but like Reece James is actually the backup now. You know, that's that's. <laughs> Welcome uh, to real life, baby. I, 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 I hope he's old, fit, man. No, I mean, he's he's so first name I basis, I mean, I mean, I mean, first name basis with the nerds, and you think he's the first choice? Come uh, on, man. <laughs> Pick up the comp, Dian. Andrew Wright. Dublin is in the chat for my guy, Andrew. Big up to you, Andrew. Yeah, Dublin is in the chat right now for my guys, Andrew. Massive super chat. Big up to you, Habibi. Thank you so much for always supporting the channel consistently. I love your, watching yours and most shows. I watch them all even at work. Football is the greatest sport in the world when it goes your way. Come on, Liverpool. Staffy, you fraud. I'm always right. Remember? Big up to you, Andrew. Thank you so much for the super chat, Habibi. Dublin is in the chat. I want to crazy. Talk to this guy. His name is Andrew. Yeah. Yeah, we call him Andy, like certain someone on the stream. Make sure, guys, are spamming Wandrew in the right, chat. Big up, Andrew. Appreciate it. Love Bro. for all his supporting this football. I see you on most channels. I see you on all these guys' channels as well. So I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so, 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 so much for the big super chat, Habibi. W's, W's, W's. I want you all to spam W's in the chat for him. Call out for Staffy here. Staffy, you're a fraud. You chat nonsense, passive aggressively, deflect what others say. As a United fan, please get uh, someone else. What what do you want to say to, to this guy? We have to read it just because he sent it, Yanni. But what do you want to respond to Stephen? Like I said, the chat, have him on strings. <laughs> this guy, bro, I'm the puppet. How are you doing that with your hand? That's so accurate as well. Do that like, again. This. That's actually so but more accurate than you think. That's fully like a string. Because they have the strings on like all the fingers, so they just move them all differently. I'm a very imagine imagine, way, imagine yeah. paying five dollars asking for me to be replaced. Well, I definitely tell you something. Even if I get replaced, I wouldn't be replaced with you because you're yeah, nobody. Definitely, man. Staffy is dangerous, bro. I can't lie, bro. He's Staffy's cold. a better playmaker I mean, than you know, Bruno, man. You know what I mean? He's no playing right, it's crazy, bro. I can't yeah. get yeah. pressed, bro. I'm, I'm Pogba in his prime, bro. But let's yeah, let's move. I can't get pressed, bro. Your Pogba in his prime? Gunnar G, wallahi, you need to get banned for that comment. Don't post what Gunnar G said, man. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so confused, I can't find it. Say again, who? Gunnar G. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, for Ramadan, for Ramadan. Allah. For Ramadan, yeah, Gunnar G. Keep it keep it halal, lads. Keep it halal, lads. Keep it halal, man. Gunnar G, yeah, bro. Give it halal, that's what he said. Uh, keep it halal, that, that, That's a funny comment, bro. God, like, listen, Gunnar G, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, they, they, they always told me I, I'm, I'm, good with, I'm good with my hands. That's all I'm going to say, bro. Yeah, no, but man. we can move on. Yo, where are we going with this? Haram, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a halas, halas. It's okay. If you didn't see it, that's good. Let's be more listen, bro. Chill out, chill out, Azam. Okay, halas. I won't trade it first. I actually fully couldn't find that one. Yeah. Anyway, big up to you, my guy. Uh, Steven, you just got cooked. Uh, anyway, big up to Alif Aaron says, big up, Mo. Uh, always love listening to your football opinions. Thank you so much, Aaron, for supporting the channel and always being on the chat. Appreciate you. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. And uh, you guys are making us sit here and People like you make us sit here and do content. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you, Aaron. Thank you so much. Big up. I heard that Mount is sick with a cold, cold Palmer. Bro, I, I, I was doing the game while fasting, and I had a very cold meal to break my iftar. Thanks to Cole Palmer, bro. But listen, he's a baller, so I'm not really that upset. I can't lie. His celebration is cold, bro. I can't lie. That little... <laughs> Bro, it's cold, man. I can't lie. It's cold, man. Fair play to him. Fair play to him, bro. I can't lie. This oh, Chelsea God, people man. will stun the people. Uh, this Chelsea team will stun the people with proper system. I, Ramen, thank you for the super chat, but I think this is absolute BS. Biggest BS. <laughs> Fundamentally, they, the they, you know, day. can I just say there's already a system. Listen, I give... Ahmed, I'll ask you a very simple question. No, no, very no, simple, very simple. Like I'm actually going to agree from, with you. Agree no, with let me ask you. Let me ask you. Imagine from the start of the season, you had Erling Haaland. Where will you be in the league? Be honest. Not that I'm higher up the, the, up the league. Wallahi. Wallahi. They would no, no, no. Higher, not that high. They'd be fourth easily. Yeah. 
لا 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 We've been scoring goals in it, so the issue is you've not been scoring that many as many goals as we need to. That's all it is, man. Hey, big up! I just read and that. this issue you of up, Skywalker, crazy. you get me, who says wonderful queen said she's going to become an Arsenal fan when Arsenal win the league this season. No, I don't think people are going to switch their club just because Arsenal win the, 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 the league, you know. I don't, and also, your name cannot be Wonderful Queen if you switch your teams after the team's winning. You should call change your name to Unloyal Queen, you get me? Because you can never change the football club you support through ups and Anti Glory Hunters, man. We're anti Glory Hunters yeah. here, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The club to do Watch that. himself said, Pass to call Palmer and inshallah says, Can, can I, can I, I say something this? about this? I, I yes. hate when people say he only plays past the Cole Palmer and inshallah. That's not true. Because when we we, we won the league uh, with the Van Persie, I remember Sir Alex came out and said that he threatened to drop Rooney and Kagawa if they don't pass the ball more to Van Persie. They, he always told them, if you don't find him more, I'm going to bench you guys. And that's coming from one of the greatest... Ah, I remember that time. interview. They said it in yeah, interview, so he's I actually remember. said that. It, there's a thing that you need to understand that sometimes you need to identify who's your best player on the pitch. And who's sometimes hot at the moment, you know? Like, I, and I know people like to make fun of the NBA, game. but that's that's a thing in the NBA. They usually pass it to whoever has the hot hand on the that's... day. Cole Palmer has been on a hot form for a while. Why wouldn't you play to his best strengths? Like, you want but your manager to identify NBA, your best player. Happy. The reason why you can't say he's better than Saka is he could be another Jordan Poole. Uh, no, not at all. Not at Jordan Poole is the problem with Jordan. You don't know if I say those gonna punch uh, him in the face. The no, can, can I tell you something? The Jordan Poole. Oh let me tell you something. Problem, wait, let, let, me, let, let, me, let me let me just say something. Cole Palmer legit did the opposite of what Jordan Poole did. Okay, Jordan mm-hmm. Poole was on the Warriors with the greatest team, won the the, the championship. And then when he moved and got a team on his own, he ended up being a bust. And then they put him on the but, bench. Cole Palmer had the same exact story. He was on the best team, won everything, but he was off the bench. Went and they gave him his own team, and he thrived. That's the only difference. They both had the oh, same story. One thrived, one flopped. To thrive and and oh, wait, 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 the thing like, is that yeah, bro, yeah, he, 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 the guys play. That's no, wait, 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 hold on. That's hold on. To compare the Wizards wait, no, to Chelsea is crazy. One second, he, Jacob. One second, yeah, he can't wait, 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 him. No. Ahmed, Ahmed, one second. Jordan Poole is literally making fail comps every week by the dumbest basketball decisions in my life. Like, you don't have to be a bad or a good player to know that you're not supposed to do the things that he does. Bro, the guy just shoots from halfway. He but Sometimes he just shoots it. without the dribble. Like, he, he was actually insane, bro. He's actually insane how bad he is. Whereas Cole Palmer, he's playing with clowns, too. Are we going to ask like Cole he, Palmer, uh, Cole Palmer the signed the, the contract to go there? Jordan Poole had no say. He was he forced got, to Washington. He didn't smile for about the first yeah, three months. That's the difference in sports, yeah. bro. Okay, oh, that's well, the well, difference in sports. Speaking, speaking of not but, smiling. Second, yeah. Yeah, but the other thing is, yeah, the other one. We have to move on. Just quickly, one second, bro. What? Just give me this one. But also, the difference is, yeah. It, someone, someone didn't punch that guy out, yeah, when he was at his highest either. You know what I mean? And then no one didn't even get. Bro, you trying to tell me he's on a concussion? Okay, bro. He's concussed. Yeah. It's not a good question. We got bitched, bro. That's what happened to him. I need, I need, I, I, we need to move on. I need to see Cole Palmer play under pressure like Saka, Foden, Salah when he's like, yes, that's what I'm saying. Can turn, can turn. Yeah. Nobody's giving him like Dallow was fully giving him the spaces, assuming that he's gonna take the ball from him, and he got cooked. So, and that happens every every game now. Like people aren't paying attention to Cole Palmer. Right, people right. think that Cole Palmer right. is a superstar. Like Bukai Saka doesn't have an inch. To just turn, and if he turns and faces a defender like Mohamed Salah or Foden, the the winger of the other team sprints to just double on him because they know. Cole Palmer yesterday he was facing Dalo. They took five seconds looking at each other's eyes like they were gonna kiss until he dribbled him, and nobody came to support. Nothing. Last season, Nothing last season you see, last season you see Saka with plenty of space. Now none. They're on him straight away. As soon as he gets that ball, there's two men there ready. Look at okay, him. Relax. When Cole right. Palmer gets that, when Cole, when Cole Palmer, when Cole Palmer gets that, relax. He's not that good either. Anyway, mm. speaking of uh, <laughs> given time, <laughs> meaty. Oh, age post to call glue. There was a guy who told me. You get me? Um, 
Godzilla headed the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, he's up for manager of the month. Yeah, show some respect. My brother, man. He's up for manager of the month again. Big up to every single one of you guys. Make sure you guys are slapping the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing to this football channel. We're approaching 500 likes. The first segment is about to start. Yeah, he can scam manager of the month just like he's scamming. Oh, no my manager, my gaffer. Do you know how fraudulent that is? Man gets so manager sad, of the month nomination. Man gets... Okay, خلاص, let him talk. Well, you Very forgot that sometimes uh, we, we play by different rules according to Saad. Yalla, khalli, khalli yitkillim. Yalla. Faddal, Jacob. Faddal, ya Jacob. Talk to me about the hammers. Uh, no, it's real simple. Uh, whoever on the day drew the cat on the football, good job. They're an artist. Michelangelo must have painted the Sistine cats all upon that ball because Kurt Zuma was kicking it defensively. He was scoring with his back. He was abusing the cat. Um, so big ups to him for that. I'm also going to say this. Abusing West Ham the frauds. cat can, can be misinterpreted into something else. Go ahead. We've all seen the video of him kicking and throwing that poor feline across the kitchen. We keep it halal. Relax. Well, I stuff he's on some next shit today, bro. I don't know what's going on, bro. Look at the smile on his face, bro. Stop smiling like that, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, he beat up the cat, bro. Are you hungry, man? What's going on, bro? Is it? Have we not broken the basket there, man? That's what I'm saying. No one said that. No one thought that, Staffy. No one thought that, Akhi. No one except you. Get your mind out the gutter. Go ahead, Jacob. No, look, uh, I think the Spurs fans, rival fans all had a little bit of an overreaction to a draw versus a decent side. You know, they've had their manager for feels like 10 years. We've had ours for not even 10 months. Um, so the fact that their side could go ahead and play that style, that's fine. And, you know, they beat us last time that we played them. Last time that we played them, we were a lot worse than this time that we played them. It's just the unclinicalness in the final third. The fact that we have such a reluctance to shoot from distance, to shoot from within the box. Uh, that for me is is very troublesome, worrisome. I wish Son was a little bit more selfish because Son is the greatest finisher in the Premier League. I don't know who Erling Holland is. Erling Ha Ha is what I call him. Anytime oh I've seen him God. miss so many chances. I'm <laughs> sorry. Holland. They compared this man <laughs> to Harry Kane, the liars, the fraudulent Premier League Kane, fans. Are, Kane is oh, new superior. kid on the block. Oh, he's got a blonde man bun. Oh, he's so good. He can't even help get his team to the Euros. He's a fraud, just like Martin Odegaard. But that's besides the point. Damn. If we. Could finish. Firstly, Martin Odegaard, Martin Odegaard assisted and helped him. Yeah, he could. I completely disagree. He assisted him all the way to getting eliminated in the Euros. League. Hold that. Son is not the best finisher in the league. I disagree he is. With that. No, he is. You can look at the numbers. You can watch the matches. He is. No, we just, have two finishers at club. That's my Did you know you could go back four seasons and tally all of Youngman Son's big chances missed, and it would not even equal Erling Holland's big chances missed this season? Did you know that? To be wow. fair, to be yeah, fair, wow. Son, Son actually yeah. has what, some of the most clinical numbers in the Premier League. Wow, he is he he has exceeded his XG that. in four out of the five seasons. So I'm not even a big XG guy, but I'm just saying the numbers don't lie when it talks about who missing chances and who's not. Um, it's just if Son had the amount of chances that that Holland did. <laughs> Oh, we'd be a different squad right now. But look, you look at some of the other numbers since the calendar year of 2024. Uh, we are tied with second in the least amount of uh, shots conceded, but we're still up there with or uh, with, with goals conceded. So to me, that shows that there's a clear lack of uh, defensive ability on set pieces. We get taken advantage of set if it's a corner, if it's a free kick, anything around Is the box. Picario? I'm going to say it's because of Ryan Mason and that head injury he got. What? The fact that we just keep employing him. Bro, Ryan Mason's a criminal. What? Ryan Mason, our set piece coach. He defensive That's who I'm blaming. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah he's def I know, but what does this have to do with the head injury? Oh, you're being sarcastic. Yeah, CTE. Wow. <laughs> Shit. I still Jacob's don't get the joke. A fraud, bro. I don't Jacob. want Jacob. Jacob, <laughs> seriously, they are targeting Vicario, and it's very obvious. They're surrounding. Yeah, Vicario. and the fact that the fact that the the set piece coach says, "Hey, who's the second smallest fucker on this team?" Oh, James Madison. That's who should go and try and provide some help to Vicario. That is a crime. Ryan Mason, 
he needs to be sacked. He should have been sacked, but for some reason, he is like that 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 fly that just circles around the shit, and you just can never get him oh, away, no matter how hard you swat. It's just get, he needs to go on and get somewhere. And then Spurs fans are like, oh, don't be mean, Ryan Mason. He's family. He doesn't even coach the defensive he's side. Yeah, I think we're deflecting. I think you're deflecting. You actually yeah. conceded chances this game. If it wasn't for the corner, they would have scored. Mm hmm. When? It's actually deflecting. West Ham could have won 2 1 as well. When Vicario yeah. stopped the one on one? Is that exactly. when they uh, scored? You know, oh, but Jacob he stopped the one on one, so he didn't, Mo. And also, conceding many, the chance that my goalkeeper times, saves sounds like something times, the goalkeeper should do. Right. Okay, Jacob, I'm being objective here. How many times could us run through your defense from that left side? Mm. When they switch him to the right, he had joy too. So he, easily, as much bro. as he wanted. Exactly. How, many times is a Bowen, how many times Antonio? Antonio's such a bozo sometimes. He actually is a Antonio, Antonio, I love Antonio. I love him. He's a I love player, him. Right? He's a king, the king of like shit house, the Antonio and chaos and fighting defenders. Bro, Jacob, you're saying if you had a good team, if they had a striker, bro, bro, they would have won the game, Jacob. That's just the reality. They do. They have plenty of strikers and they didn't win the game. So I don't know what you're talking about. If they had a striker, they, they have a striker on the bench named Danny Ings. They had a striker on the pitch named Mikel Antonio. Huh. If they had better what are you talking strikers? about? They had strikers. If they had better strikers. I actually think Spurs is probably Bro, in this getting game bottled up by Vicario. He ain't the first. He ain't going to be the last in the Premier League. Everyone's squad here, they're going to get it too. So, Except for you, Mo, next year. Inshallah. Next year, if you play Champions League, you mean? Uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know. So, 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 you, so you aren't taking Tearing any negatives from this down. game. You aren't, you aren't taking any negatives from this game. Not. Negatives are... Right, the... Ryan Mason. Ryan Mason. No, I, 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 I did say on. I did say the negatives, Mo. So don't just exclude a paragraph okay, so of I, my monologue. It was the lack, the the reluctance to shoot from in and around the box. We're we're basically trying to walk the ball in, and all our goals look identical. It's a get worked over here, sizzled across the six, back post taps it in. Make it very simple for Brennan Johnson. Make it very simple for Timo Werner. That's what we've been doing. In the first half, Timo yeah. Werner and Destiny both had two crosses across that across that six-yard box, but but no one was there at the back post. So, to me, it's... Jacob, uh, I was about to say, objectively, I actually think your problem in that game was actually creativity. I don't think you created enough. You had the ball in dangerous positions, but didn't do anything with it. That's the, the, the problem, because... I can't even recall like a Spurs dangerous, dangerous type chance where like, you know, someone... There was twice in the mark. first half, the goals that we've created all season long, which is the very simple, just play... It, it, it's what we tried to do against Liverpool, but Joel Matip cut it out right at that right second, you know, in the near post. It was trying to go far post, but it, it's like those goals, Hassam. Um, and we created plenty of them. It's just we didn't finish them. The the unclinicalness in the final third is our problem when we get into this when teams allow us to play the way that we want to play and we get into the final third what we do is just looking for an incisive pass looking for an incisive run even when we're down when we're when we're drawing it's the same thing and they continue to <laughs> Joel Matip I don't know who that is. Origi's that guy doesn't play for Tottenham Hotspur. I don't I don't yeah. know who that yeah. is. Joel Matip assisted Origi's goal to make you cry. Who, who's cry who's more. that? Who's that white? Why is guy? why is Yakub why is Yakub got amnesia all of a sudden? I said I don't know uh, who that is. Who that who's that, who's that white guy? Uh, who's that white guy? I don't know. Um, I have got the GA when it mattered. Now back to, to I can't lie. Yeah, if, if, I could, if I could just speak on this game, I think it's just Spurs being Spursy. I think that left side, Poro side, is a massive, massive open space for people. That's where people are going to attack. I think him defensively is the weak part of this team. Any manager that's looking at playing Spurs, they need to get a fast winger, get them on that left side, on Poro's side, and then let him come forward, and then you just run him behind. That, I that wanna, is I wanna let you, that I is let the you play. I have your take, but can you explain to us? Can, I'm sorry. I want I want to have your I want I want to listen to your take, and I want to actually Spurs Spurs can Spurs you, being okay, Spurs yeah, is when I when they need to. to... I want, I'm gonna give you thirty seconds to yes. explain to us what does that mean from us Brexit people outside of England that we don't know. <laughs> Why are we getting? Why is this Brexit thing coming out, bro? Allah, this Brexit thing is. He went there. He went there. Um, Spurs, Spurs being Spursy is like when the pressure is at its most highest and they need to get something out of it. Everything goes goes flat. There's, and how long has that happened? Flat line. That's been happening since since for years and years since two thousand eight so when they so last won. Hold on, hold on. They last won. They had finals. 
they had finals and they couldn't, couldn't they couldn't win. I said it's been happening since they've had finals that in in big finals, league cups, FA cups. Sad was leagues. a Liverpool fan that day. Hundred percent. We were back in. Oh, I was gonna say so. We were there. We were there, bro. You want to say it? Because if I say it, they'll call me a Spurs worker. So I'll let you say it, Mo. No, it's not about that. I'm just gonna call it. So, so can we say the same about Arsenal for the last twenty years? Sad. No, no, no. Do you know? Do you know why you can't, Mo? Do you know why you can't? Do you know why you can't? Stafford, you can't say that because you're on the When we have, when we, when we have, when we have a situation, I want the team to win, but it's it's unbearable when people like Sad do what they do. No, it's not like that. The reason why you can't say we're Spurs is because when we have opportunities to win trophies, I we're literally FA Spurs Cup, by your own uh, definition. When we, when, we, like last when, we, when we when we have chances to win the FA Cup, we win our trophies, bro. Oh my god, you know fucking what I mean? God. We we may on odd occasion we oh may bottle god. a lead, we may bottle a lead in, bro, in the bro. I dad has races, just got hit with another but... fucking earthquake, bro. Bumba. What happened? What did he say? He just got I had an earthquake in New York. happened on Saturday earlier with the earthquake. Uh, Staffy got hit with an earthquake earlier on. Oh, what earthquake? Hope he's okay, well, man. Nothing reported yeah, yet. I hope he's okay. There was an earthquake. No. Just... It was a 4.8 earthquake Ru recently. Rumor has and, uh... it the amount of twerking has shaken the entire ground. <laughs> oh. You're uh, making a joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, there was an earthquake this morning at 9.30, but it's very small. One. It's 4.8. It's tectonic plates in America are fraudulent. Hmm. America so gonna, is weird. So Jay, do you have but, a response to that Spurs being Spursy thing that he said? Uh, it's just a waffler speaking waffle. What am I supposed to say to a manager at IHOP? So, so you don't you don't think you don't think that you're Spursy? You don't think that your club is Spursy? When you have opportunities I mean, to, to to win a trophy, when you, you don't think when that you, you think about okay, well, I'll answer your question very simple. I'll give you a history lesson. The word Spursy originated when Spurs did the double back in the 1960s, and when we did it again, they said that's Spursy. Winning the double is a Spursy thing to do. Then when we started failing, everyone else latched on to, oh, is that Spursy? And then they changed the narrative. So when something sticks, it usually means that it meant something beforehand, but because of recent performances and results that it has now flipped and it is the antithesis of. It is used to be a beacon of laughter because what was once Spursy in a high regard is now Spursy in a laughing manner. And I, it doesn't bother me when rivals use the word completely it doesn't do you know why it doesn't bother me at all because i would use it too if it was the foot was on the other the shoe was on the other foot. you know why so. sorry jacob do you know why i don't like these takes because they are just a sentence that you can say to avoid actually saying things you know what i mean it's just spurs being spurs yeah. it's it, it's but Chelsea. it is Chelsea. so you believe that's a real thing Yes, mm. you believe you believe young men's son when 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 you, it comes you believe to young men's when, son it comes to, Van Der Ven, when it comes to you're winning the when game, it comes to the... finals, especially when it comes to finals, especially they are extra. Yeah, but this game wasn't a final yeah. to be extra. It's not a final, bro. I, I want to understand. You no, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to say Vicario, where it's at. We are peak. thinking about Spursy when Zuma is jumping. To back the ball into the goal, they were thinking about. Up, Staffy, yes, you good? Spurs. You think, bro? We just got hit with the with another fucking. It, I think it's an aftershock from the earthquake. My house just shook yeah. again, literally just now. Are you good? Yeah, yeah I'm fine, bro. But yeah, beah, bro. But this anyway, is the second anyway, one today. I just really sad. I'm not calling you outside, but I've heard. Sarnas, this that's, that's, but I've that's, heard this a lot, say that. that's and I believe if if you guys really believe that, like if that is actually a real thing, I'll need to look into this, like because. People yeah. literally sit after Spurs games and say, well, they're just Spurs. Exactly sad when mm. I sat and said Arsenal win the you game. You want to know why, Mo? You told me. That's what we you call, what that's what we call in the business low-hanging fruit. When, mm. when you can't step up on a ladder to find the creative fruit, what do you do? Oh, this one that's just right there. Everyone's getting a bite of it. I'll just grab that low-hanging fruit. That's what Saad does. Whatever the easiest answer is but to make it as simplistic. You know what? It's, 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 it's not the Hold on. Hold on. Because we're not going to chat bullshit. Can I add one sentence? It's not the easiest route. Because I said your Spursy. Excuse me. You're right. That are the trophy one. Those are the two arguments you use. The two low-hanging fruit. My bad. Hold on. Hold on. I said your Spursy. But then I also gave reason. Reasons yeah, for why you why you drew that game on. is because it's such an yeah. open part of the pitch for where Poro is because he just leaves so much space in behind. 
Do so you know, there's you know, there's, you know, there's two answer. things, bro, that I said. So do you know, Please, sad, I got an, I just want to say, you know, know what I said. Do you guys know when I tried to analyze answer uh, Arsenal before? I was on, on a stream with that. Do you know what what the guys their excuses for when they said that Arsenal will will lose games and drop points? Hmm. It's just Arsenal. It's the Arsenal, <laughs> bro. Literally, they told me this, bro. It's just Arsenal, bro. And I'm like, I, I sat there and I'm like, I was baffled, bro. I was like, okay, they're like, it's really there's a thing. It's just also. I just want to say quickly, yeah, uh, on Tottenham. I just think part of the issue with Tottenham, I have to say, it's just obviously the attackers they have, like Brennan Johnson, you know, my guy Timo Werner, you know what I mean? I know about that guy very uh, very well. And like, I think with even to a lesser extent, I would say with Son, Son, when he's on form, you know, he's putting that in the back of the net. There's no denying that for me. But when he's going through that sort of period where maybe he's not scoring goals, it can be an issue. But then, Werner, I think with Werner... What did he mess? What did he mess up? What did Son mess up? No, no, West Ham? no, I'm not saying specifically in this game, but I'm just, I'm mm. talking about in generally when I speak about you. Okay. Because I, I, I only watch the highlights in this game, so. Mm, no, it's, it's general, because a lot yeah. of Spurs fans as well like to do that, and then you say, okay, well, what did Son mess up? And they say, no, but not oh, in this well, game. If it, in this game, not specifically, but I'm just talking about though in general though. With Team Werner, obviously, you know him and Clinical, they don't, you know, marry marry up very well, very well. But the one thing I will give him his credit for is that he can create chaos. He's the pre-Darwin Nunes, where if you get him, you know, direct and attacking stuff, you will create some level of chaos on that wing to do something for you. But he's not going to be clinical. With Brennan Johnson, I think he's a good player. I would say, but you know, again, he's someone that needs time. He's not going to always He's flashes be... in the pan. He's better off exactly. the bench because he changes the dynamic. When he starts, exactly. you see it. We got a goal, what was it, five minutes or something like that. We get a goal real quick, and then we just do nothing. Mm. You know, you know, I, Jacob, I, that's I, I agree. Me. Brennan Johnson is... Yeah. Go ahead, Hussein. The thing for me... Uh, so so I, for I just say, that's why for me, I didn't say it's Spursy or any of this because I don't necessarily mm -hmm. think you bottled it today. I believe in Spursy. I believe it's an actual thing that needs to be solved, can be solved, and I don't think it's forever. However, I think this game specifically, my big, like if I, when I, I actually did a watch along for that game uh, and on Tuesday anyway, on the game, there was like no other options. It's like either that or Brighton Brentford. So obviously I'm going to watch that game. I actually think Spurs' biggest problem was their creativity. There was a serious lack of creativity because I don't think they created enough clear cut chances to win the game. That's why I cannot blame Son. I'll blame Kulusevsky, Brennan Johnson, Werner, to even 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 Madison to an extent because they didn't create enough. Yeah. Did they create enough chances to beat West Ham? The honest answer is no. And you could even make the claim that West Ham probably created the more dangerous chances, which is exactly why I'm saying like, you know, maybe the lack of creativity was the bigger issue than actually, you know, necessarily son you know yeah, I think but that's just... been the story that's been the 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 crux all season that I've kind of alluded to even when talking about versus West Ham when we do this horseshoe hotspur it's that lack of creativity we have no problem controlling the ball but like Staffy said there's a difference between controlling the ball and controlling the game and that was a clear example of one of the times we controlled the ball we were dictating but obviously we allow uh chances in behind we get caught out of possession and and it's that in the final third we're just horsing it around left to right back left right back and if they press us guess what we'll go back to vicario and we'll reset and just go again and it's just that over and over and over but when you get into the final third if you watch tottenham and there's the guy with the ball whether it's kuti on on the on the right side or it's it's basuma or, or van de Veen on the left and they have the ball and they're they're about 10 yards out from the box no one is moving everyone is standing there it's like everyone's waiting for someone else to do something. And I think this is just one of those things that has to get worked out through running this philosophy more and more. And again, I, our manager has said that we are not completely playing the style that he is trying to get us to play. We are, we are building the foundations of it, but we are not executing it throughout the entire 90 minutes. Forward. We need better yeah, we need forwards, better we need forward. better midfield. Madison can't be doing this sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit thing. We can't have that. And this is what Leicester fans beat him over the head with. They said, he starts out the season phenomenal. You start thinking, wow, yeah, he's Leicester. so good. He's this, that, and the other. And then he gets an injury, he misses a couple games, and he never comes back to what the levels he was hitting in the beginning of the season. And that's exactly what we're seeing at Tottenham. Okay, um, let me let me just uh, do the super chat before we move on to the preview segment where we're going to preview the, the weekend's results. Uh, guys, we have hit 500 likes. W's for yourselves in the chat. Big up to every single one of you guys. W's for all of you in the chat. 
for us hitting the 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 uh, 500 like target continue to like the video let's try for 600 let's try for 700 keep liking the video keep subscribing um every single one of you guys hit the like button every single one of you guys subscribe to this football right here right now uh let me just go to the super chats we have to come down says set it on most stream earlier uh, but palmer plays ping pong 1v1 football while Saka faces two or three players uh, man marking him every week yeah, very true, actually. Very, very true. But that's what we said in the beginning, Comdeen. Now, until Palmer does it, when there's pressure on him, it's not a counter-attack, it's not just transition-based football, I can't judge him with the same metrics as... as you could be seeing like him play. on Sunday, to be honest. He's facing Sheffield United. They're probably going to double him up specifically. So, we'll see you then. Yeah, that, that, would be, that would be something to, to look for. How he plays on... Mm -hmm. Again, Sheffield United are going to bring 11 players behind the ball and they're going to have like two, three players on him. So, yeah. But mm -hmm. he has been impressive. Don't get me wrong. I'm not slacking him off. I'm saying he has been impressive. Every time he gets the ball, you feel like something is going to happen for the Chelsea team, uh, which is something that Chelsea fans... Chelsea fans want the ball to go to him. Yes. We we were okay. hazard of C at one point. We were hazard of C at one point. If you know, you know. There you are. Who's better, Gerard or Lampard? Come on, man. That's a you ask it. Play, play the crickets in the back. Who's Lampard, yeah, bro? Play the crickets. Listen, Lampard. Big up to JJ Ash who says, Lampard, man. Always. This was your 16 10 moment right here. Big up to JJ Ash who says, Salah Allah Habib Narsullah Sayyidina Muhammad bin Abdullah Allah Salah Sayyidina Muhammad Ali Ali wa Sahbi Ajma'in. Uh, Saad does not uh, could, couldn't read that. Big up to you, JJ. Big up to Zed that he says, Staff is mind is being deeper, but right. Bro, bro, turned the Kurt Zuma kicking a cat thing into a dirty thing. I've no, he's the only one who thought about that. Like everyone's thinking about Kurt Zuma kicking the cat, and he just went all the way down the drain, you know, to the other I side. I was trying to but paint hey, the picture that the ball was clearly made to okay, appear as a cat, okay. and Kurt Zuma was playing out his mind. Just... Okay, there's no need for the explanation. Don't want to get the uh, I'll explain because... again. He was kicking it very hard, just like a cat. Yeah, Allah. Uh, 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 obviously, over here, it's the 26th night. For you guys, it's 27. So tomorrow is my 27th night, inshallah. But it's the 27th. Uh, yeah, sure they just, uh, the Urdun, the Urdun they decided that they wanted to have yeah, one and more actually, day. Yeah, and we are, we're fasting the right way. Thank you very much. You're Actually, fasting no, when the, NASA, NASA you started said, fasting NASA, when the Hilal what, what, is still in Brazil. Falakian, 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 in NASA is in Jordan. They said that in NASA in Jordan. They said you have, uh, so you, you have like NASA, NASA, NASA in the King's Palace. They said that we want to invite Very nice. Very nice. Wants. First of all, don't mention the King's Palace. Second of all, Saad was doing Why? Brexit. Why? Now you're doing, Why not? Saad was doing Brexit. Now you're doing Donald Trump, basically. Astrology only exists in USA, sah? <laughs> We don't have telescopes to here. Us, we don't have us, and nothing. Egypt, America, Saudi Arabia, everybody. You guys decided to do You guys didn't want to fast 30 days. Right. We'll fast 30 we'll days. We'll get the thawab of 30 days. We'll get the thawab of 30 days. You guys get the thawab of 30 days. Big up to Yanis who says, to say they have the most hard stuff to say they have the most hard stuff to say they have the most hard stuff to Just want to point out, Man United got relegated in 1974, little bro. Shit club. I don't answer losers. That's, That's you, Steph. I'll bro, never answer Everyone's on Steph. Like, bro. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you very... what, who this person is, because I'm, I'm actually running out of patience today. I'm getting hit with two fucking earthquakes. I'm fasting, and people want to sit here and diss me in the comments. Bro, if you're a man, bro, pull up on me and call me little bro in my face, bro. I'll tell you that, bro, because you wouldn't be calling me little bro, bro. You know that. You know you wouldn't be saying that in my face, bro. I know this guy. I think it's because he's old. He's old. I don't, I don't care how like, old he is, or bro. Or he thinks you're young. You can piss off, bro. I'm tired of these guys, bro. I'm, I'm actually pissed, bro. Come on, side. Literally, my I'm fucking house is shaking as I'm live, and people still want to be fucking nasty in the comments. I've never seen anything like that. Honestly, bro. Shit-ass community, bro. Whatever, man. Come on, side. I'm an Arsenal fan. It's just banter, says Comdian. He's an Arsenal fan as well. The whole Spurs thing. Yes. Conte knew this is the history of the Spurs, is what G Pat says. Big up to mm. you, G Pat. Yeah, and he's still uh, came here and failed. So what does that comment by a manager about a club he's managing ever, ever. The That's Conte so press ever. conference was was. Yeah, did he say that was wrong? Far. Did he say anything wrong? Like I, I no, agree no, with the no, whole Jake, like it was nasty, it was wrong. this and that. But when he said it, I was like, finally, 
Finally, someone yeah, yeah, said. Yeah, but the problem is nobody calls out a club like this the that bad, Jake. Nobody calls out a club like this that bad. That's it. The club. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that was all of yeah, That's the exit call, press conference right there. That was that was that was. <laughs> no, like, that that was like, I'm is. dropping. I'm dropping the mic. <laughs> that was like movie type shit, you know. I'm, out. Like I'm going back to Italy, man. To, he was <laughs> trying to distance himself from. I mean, the man knew what he walked into. All right. When we you, got him, you know Jed Spence, did? the writing was on the wall, my friend. That's like going on a date with Ted Bundy. You know where you're going to end up. Hey, Jacob is actually trying to. Bro, Jacob's just trying to take away your monetization. Monetization? <laughs> what? Saying the word Ted Bundy? That don't take monetization. Maybe it's all y'all dropping F bombs and saying pussy bro, and all that. They, Maybe it's they, that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. he, might, he might be right, bro. Uh, uh, like wait, Jacob. Let me. Hold on, Jacob. Let me teach you. Tattoo. When you when you say I that, to you have to pop the P. The P has to pop. Yeah, you have to go pussy. Oh, you have to do that. It has to pop like that, bro. Yeah. Damn. Okay, yeah when you say that, you say pussy. Oh, bro. You pop the lip, bro. Big up to Comdian, uh, who says it's referring to weak uh, mentality of Spurs in recent years, but it's not because of Spurs. Until they get rid of the Spursy players, it won't leave them. Like Arsenal had to change 25 players to fix it. We're working on it. I agree. Player I agree. Uh, We're working Jacob, on it. Is there any player left other than uh, Hoiberg from that generation that played? Ben Davies? I mean, you couldn't even say Hoiberg. Not even a that, starter, but... Ahmed. He's not even a starter. Like, yeah, you have nobody there. Is still like, there. I see no one there. I see no one there that is in the starting 11 or even like, like, like the starting 11 is completely new in the last two years. Um, So. Yeah, the starting except for Son, obviously Romero. Um, but when so, you look at our Son, squad, the best finisher, the best finisher in the, the no, is the I mean best Son finisher. and Davies. He's the only been... Spursy guy in there. He's not he's not Spursy, mm. but um he has he a, he has a player buddy. that's been here for quite some time. I don't Based think Son's mentality the is the problem, trust me. Son you Son's mentality that, is right? not the problem. Okay. You um, agreed with Super Chat. Asian Cup, you Jordan. With Super Chat, you and you looked I mean? at the squad. Crazy. You found only Hayes Min Sun. No one left. Settings need to, questions need to be asked, bro. What's going on? That's my Somalia body. You know, Jordan, Jordan in, 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 in the Asian Cup. What happened? You want to go there? Huh? They all fell apart, bro. What do you There's mean, bro? Team that lost bro, that's Lee Kang In's fault, and that man almost exactly. got ostracized <laughs> from the national team. So <laughs> Why does why does he know the name of the player? <laughs> Bro, it was Lee Jacob King in fault, him. not Son. Oh, like, yeah, Jacob has a lot of everything. This bro. guy is I not normal when it comes to defending Son, honestly. I, but I love it. I love how, how like, he, he fully researched a Korean player's name. Big bro, up to Spurs. Being bro, I watch the Korean team. I, I support my captain. Yeah. And All guess right. who took you down, brother? Hey, hey the Jordans. Big up to Terence who says, Congratulations Spurs Jordan, being man. Spursy yeah. is, is banter after years of Spurs bottling. But after the 2022-2023 season, we need to shut up and win a trophy. Come on, you Gooners. Fuck Spurs. That's a message to Saad, I think. I, I do agree. I do agree that we need to go and win a trophy. But we have won a trophy when they haven't. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Allah. My point still stands. <laughs> my point still stands. Never it's more have... than they've got, bro. Be, it's more than they've got, bro. So it's Are you gonna be Spursy this year? Are we hyping up FA Cups, bro? Come on, man. It's no, FA no, Cups, no, man. No, 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 be no, no. FA Cups, man. There's a difference no, I mean, if you're if you're all they have. That's all if, they have. If if, if bro, we all they have. Gotta sit here, if they don't have something, they have nothing. If you want to sit here and call and call being in a title race and losing out in the title race Spursy, then how many years were Liverpool Spursy for? Because they finished second in this title race. They're the prize me. They call the prize me. How many years? They're the prize me. Come on, man. They're the man. See, prize me, isn't it? You know what I mean? If man, this is look at look at Mo's face. Look at the happiness in Mo's face because he thinks he thinks that. Sad 3 0, 3 0, sad. All right, that's a hat trick. That's, that's actually a hat trick. I never thought about it this way. 3 0, sad. Can you ask sad in English only? Does he get upset if the super chat is not in British pounds? <laughs> <laughs> oh my well, god, I nil up, pal. You're, oh my you're a fraud. God. Brexit means Brexit. That's what sad said basically at the start. He was like, Oh, if you're from England, you know, Andy is actually the nickname for Andrew. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Fraud. Big up to SC who says Kilini believes in Spurs Mo uh, is the history of the Tottenham. That was a that was an elite interview. Yeah, now that bum can't even win the MLS Cup. Hold that, Cellini. 
No way you're bantering killing him. Like, we, we have it. Let's come now. Come on. Bro. You're all right. What are we doing here? Oh, yeah. Jacob, yeah. some fights yeah. you don't need to fight, bro. Well, like. hey. Hey, hey, ask him how they, war, bro. bro, when you're getting cooked by MLS attackers, that's a shame on you. You should have just retired. Spend that time with your family. But they didn't bring in winners. That's the issue. I agree with this. Actually. You know, they thought Ainge is a winner, but they didn't realize, didn't realize Australian league does not count. Big up to you, come down. Big up to all the super chatters. Big up to everyone in the stream. Make sure you guys are slapping the like button. Let it go. Make sure you guys are subscribing. This is football if you're ready to do so. Um, how many likes are we on? Like, check. We are at 529 likes. Let's make the new target 600 yeah. likes. Mods keep pushing the like stuff. Let me reveal the results. Uh, first of all, big up to Dio who says the FA Cup completes Man City's treble, but Arsenal wins it and it's not a cup. Guess Man City did a double then, not a treble. Dio, I love how you're always. No, Dio, 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 let me respond to, to Dio. Big up, Dio. Uh, the, the difference is he, this the FA Cup is the smallest trophy of the three. So it completes the treble. It's part of the treble. As you know, as the last, still, the last it's still, it's still stone a big trophy in a big in England, pyramid. Huh? So yeah, it's fine. It's, is it, it's a, it's a is it really? Is it really? Is it really? Is it really? Boy? Yes, it is. is it, it's counted. Is go it look really? it. It's a major trophy. No, 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 no. Listen, If you listen, go look counted. it, it's a major trophy. Well, listen, listen, listen. Ahmed, Ahmed, counted, Ahmed, Ahmed, really? Ahmed. Why are you calling Ahmed, him Ahmed? Ahmed, listen. Ahmed. Ahmed. Listen. Why are you calling him Ahmed? Ahmed. 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 Ahmed.
Yeah, how bro. would Ziad pull off up this lead? Bro, table, baby. I have to back it up bro, random, man. I have to get Ziyad, back Ziyad, today, man. Ziyad being at the top of this table stinks, bro. Proper chance, man. It There's actually chance, stinks, bro. Oh, you know, man, shut up, bro. Proper chance, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't, bro. He's got cheese in you. No, he doesn't. He's got more than you. Staffy, Staffy, I beg you, show us again how he does his predictions, please. Bro almost has 20 more points than you. Bro, don't even do that, bro. Wallah, he just sits there like that and says, uh, yeah, uh, 3 1. Just just put 3 1 on there. No, man. And Ziad, man, he had no ball, man. Ziad knows ball. I can't cuss him out. Oh, anymore, Allah, man. bro. Please. Ziad knows ball, man. Ziad knows ball. Pick up Zizel. Zizel winning the league, but Zizel's <laughs> almost 20 fraud, points bro. ahead. Zizel's 20 points ahead of Osam, bro. Yo. Osam, <laughs> oh, <shit, laughs> man. He doesn't know ball. Zizel's 19 points ahead of you, bro. Osam, don't know ball. Crazy, man. Jacob was laughing. He was bottom of the league. He knows all it takes is one game week and you back at the top. So, yeah. We'll tell her we'll correct it this week anyway. Okay. So. Are we testing watch all these squads when down? Arsenal win the league and Champions League. They will say it was the easiest year. City was weak and Liverpool oh had injuries. God. No, if you win the Premier League and the Champions League, no one's going to say that. Stop existing in your validation king no bubble. No one would be able to say that to me, bro. Calm down. If you I'm win the Champions League, high, I'll be the bro. first like, to congratulate you. And if you win the Premier League, the same. Like, <laughs> if you win both, 100%, I'm, no one's going to say that. Have some shame and decorum. These oh. guys are worse anyway. than flipping Arsenal fans, man. And Liverpool fans, so, man. Honestly. Um, obviously, there's only one game we have to preview just a little bit. Not too deep. That's the biggest game in English football. United versus Liverpool. <sighs> Staffy, talk to me about the game. Will we have the same scenario of the FA Cup game again? 5-0 Liverpool. There's thing. no way you actually believe that. <laughs> There's okay. no way you actually believe all right, that. All right, I actually okay, three 0 Liverpool. That's that's all I have to say. I'm, I'm not. You fully I'm, give up, bro. This is the last time I'm actually taking a game seriously. That's it. For the rest of the season, bro, care, bro. you just heard Staffy say he's he's officially retiring from watch along next season. Bro, bro, you what? really expect him? You really expect him to come out and say, you know what? I'm not. Uh, you know, said, I'm not going to repeat the same today. thing I say every week. I'm tired, bro. I'm tired of. I was expecting him to say like a Rashford dagger, you know? Yeah, he's trying to say Rashford one nil. You know what I mean? Really a, you know, we could do something <laughs> in this game. This team is actually playing worse than when we faced them the first time in Enfield. This team is actually playing worse. No, in the no, beginning, no. it was better. It was better than this. This is worse. I'm praying you do something, Staffy, of course. But... Bro, don't hold bro. your breath for that. Yeah, I'm not going to, of course. But <laughs> I'm still praying, bro. You know what I mean? No, nothing. Prayers up, bro. Allah. Allah, nothing. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I, I only, I hate only want you Liverpool never... to win. I only want <laughs> Liverpool to win that game so Osam would be in the mud. Only... Why will I be in the mud? Bro, Hassan's not gonna be. He's been covering his ass for fucking all this time. Oh, we're not mm. title favorites. Oh, we're gonna finish third in the title race, bro. He's been covering himself. You th this guy's not going to get dunked on. I can guarantee you that, bro. I'm clocked onto his game, bro. I clocked into his game from two weeks ago when this guy was Full screen, let me see it. Bro, Say that again with your chest. Bro. I believe my gaffer, he will win this league for me. And what happens so, if he doesn't? What happens? Man. It's in your hands. I hope you know that, Hussam. It's in your hands. You it's should win all the three of us hands. Oh, that's crazy. No, it's not. Where's the sense in that? <laughs> Mo, am I crazy? How is that? How, how is it in all three? Times? Wallahi, I pray my manager never does that, bro. Wallahi, are gonna yeah, drop I pray my manager never does that, yeah, with a lamp in his life, bro. By the way, if you never win the league, there's no such thing as a salmon. And they gave us hella wins, Ahmed. I, I just don't believe that we will win. The league. What? what? Whatever you've done there, bro. Whatever you done there, bro, was gave us. Whatever you done that happened at the Dubai trip, bro. We're underdogs. 70 anyway, goals, bro. to be honest with you, that game, I think this game is Liverpool. This is the game where Liverpool are actually going to dunk on Man United at home. You're going to win by a two-goal margin. Man United aren't going to sit back with 11 players like Sheffield. Man United defense is absolutely all over the place. I don't know if Varane is injured or not. Diego Dalla. Well, Staffy, do I actually write down the final, or are you joking? Habibi, we're playing with Emrabat and left back. Said about partnership of Maguire and Kamwala. Yeah, bro. Have some shame, injured, bro. Have some, have shame, some shame and put that 3 0. And wallahi, I you're I, no, but like fully, you want me to write 3 0 Liverpool. Most somewhat, oh. can I make Can I, but can, can this be the one time I predict a range of goals? It's somewhere between three and five. Just put no, whatever you want. No, in no range. Hey, <laughs> bro, McAllister is going to be in that midfield, you know. I will actually, I will actually, we'll actually allow it. Staffy gets three no, points. No, 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 no. The range is not fun. allowed. I want to get out the relegation zone, Habibi. Range my ass. Have yeah, and who's you think oh, I'm wow. the reason? 
I'm the reason you're in the relegation <laughs> zone. I'm Not table, your wild bro. takes. Bro. Not your wild takes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Ali, I don't know the bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Staffy is the reason, yeah. Not Hussein, <laughs> uh, uh, always trying to be different. No. Man City I, versus I, I Sheffield. Oh, today, I think, is the one day Man City might have drop points. I feel it in my guts. And then, oh, we, we, every time we play Man City, you know, form goes out the window when it's a derby. And I just feel it in my guts. Manchester United today will help them on the count and then we lose. Bro, Accent. bro. This the is why you're always in the tra- oh, in the relegation He's calling you a hipster, man. He's saying you're a hipster, He's man. always He's doing the most, bro. Arsenal play City. You know, this is the one time I feel like... I feel, bro, stop telling us about you, you feel. Be logical and put the right prediction, bro. United... You know what, bro? Fucking United fact. He, you know? he was actually cooking with Arsenal, though. He was actually cooking with Arsenal because we did actually take... I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting cooked. <laughs> Bro, he's always <laughs> putting like different. You know, Sam, when he added you in the, the chat. God's thing is crazy, the God's I love to say that, bro. I feel it. I just feel it in my intestines. The accent. Bro, the, accent. the only thing you're feeling in your intestines is <laughs> why, why am I on, 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 on a big screen like that? Bro, the only thing he's feeling is his intestine is, is, is the leftovers from that kebab he ate for fucking dinner and and, and, and the hummus, bro. That's the only, the mansaf that you ate. That's the only thing you're feeling in your intestines, bro, because you're feeling yeah, gassy, man. bro. You're feeling gassy, just put a bit of lemon in your water and just drink it, bro. And you won't feel gassy. That's no the hummus, wallah. That's hummus. the hummus, bro. The hummus had extra oil, bro. And it was bubbly in his intestines. That's about it, bro. That's the only thing. <laughs> Zitla Ud, bro. Zitla Ud, wallah. Bro, that's the only thing he's feeling, bro. It's not. It's never the results. Every time he says he's feeling it, I'm just going against it, bro. Oh, the only man the leftovers from yesterday. Oh, it's the man A little bit of zip there oh. with any up there, not good for the stomach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's got you, man. Okay. Are you done? Why is someone in the chat saying Mo that? catching strays? Imagine after cooking this over this long, someone thought I was cooking Mo. <laughs> bro, what the fuck, bro? It, it's okay, it's okay. Just you, an you can't, co- you can can't be, cook their hero, bro. You can't said, hey, no, I more catching strays. I was like cooking Mo. Like, clearly. Yeah, I'm can I get your real prediction? 5 0. And Jed, you want me to actually write 5 0? No, I don't know. It's 3 to 5, Hassan. Choose the one you want. I am yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's more 3 to 5. You have to choose one. Yeah, look, I'll, 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 I'll go down the middle. 4 0. Yep. 4 0. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll just say this about the game, guys. This is going to be the banana slip game for us. The fact that oh, they have all these injuries is actually he's working for he's us. Oh my Can I speak? God. Can I speak? <laughs> Can I speak? <laughs> Can I speak? <laughs> bro, I want you to actually the stink, bro. No, no, no. Hold you on, actually hold on. Stink. Hold on. You know what he just said? Oh, no, no, Mo, we're not allowing range. I need to get out of the relegation zone. And in the same breath. You know, this is the banana slip. <laughs> we just got pumped. We got pumped, bro, by two teams in a row. We're seeing 60 shots in two games. And this oh, guy's saying God, this is the banana God. slip. Banana slip, A. Eh? <laughs> what, what fucking banana slip is this guy talking about, bro? Do you not see how atrocious oh, we are? God. Banana slip, bro. <laughs> this guy's talking about Mario Karts, bro. That's the only banana slip he must be referring to. What is he talking about, bro? We're so shit, bro. Predict the win with a chest. Okay. Now I hope I can speak. Form goes out the window. It's better for them that they actually have these injuries because they will play a low block from the pits of Jahannam. We all know this. It's going to be such, it's going to be hugging Onana all game. Uh, my prediction is going to be a straightforward. I'm glad you enjoyed that, Dio. My prediction is going to be a straightforward, um, you know, 2 2 is my prediction for this game. I think we drop points. I think this game ends in a draw. Do you We're scoring a 2 1 Van Dijk. Say that again. We're scoring two on Van Dyke with our recent form. Yes. Anthony, man. Anthony, come on, man. He's, he's become Brazilian today. So maybe... Believe me. Believe me. Anthony might pull out his 1% uh, Ronaldinho in him, bro. From his... That's a rough percentage. Yeah, it's good. Listen. <laughs> According to Hussam, bro, it's going to happen. Yeah, and then he wonders why he's in the relegation zone. <laughs> and then Rush, listen, Rush, but it's not going to wake up, up bro. Hey, United is going to wake up Sunday, bro. It's different. You know, guys, this, this stream is going to make history if actually his predictions are right. This stream if is going to be history. It will never be forgotten. You know, if it actually it ends 2 2, I'm cooking you guys, even though it's a bad result. Yeah, yeah, we know. You know what? You know what's going to be cooked, bro? 90, 90 plus 5 here, Rashford's going to hit the dagger as well. Trust me. You know what I mean? The fans are going to be like, Rashford, that's 
what I mean? Bus is gonna happen, man. I'm telling you. And you know what? They're gonna they're gonna come to my stream. So stop your ten hagin today. Are you ten hagin now? Well, I'm used to it by now. You know, so, you don't think I, I'm ready to admit Ten Hag, Ten Hag, Ten Hag is the right man for the job. I know it. Wallahi, bro. Wallahi. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Jacob, what are you reading? Shabbat is lose, actually bad funny, bro. If we lose, I pray, reading? please pump us. I don't want to just lose 1 2 0. I need a humiliating that? defeat so he gets sacked we, the next day. We, 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 we have cameras in your studio, Jacob, so we can see you. We know you're reading something. Can't lie, you're getting cooked or some. Sad, can you not go take a shit in the middle of predictions so we can finish the stream? Let's finish Jesus the stream. Yeah. Fraud. Jacob hey, has to go, you everyone. guys. So you yeah, I'm going to text my predictions. predictions. Sorry yeah, that text. I got to go. But you big up everyone. Fraud. Yeah, 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 Sad, up you're me. the biggest fraud here. Yeah, uh, I was, I was blowing, I was, though, no, no, I was, lie. I was blowing my nose, and I didn't want to do it on stream. I was trying to be professional, and he tells me come back, stop taking a shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to respect your platform. Have some shame, bro. You could just mute yourself, by the way, and then we could all see what you're no, doing. No, no, but I don't but... want to do it on the camera. I don't want to do it on the camera, innit? Because it's. We'll just cover your nose and you won't. Big up Jacob the for camera. the half an hour cameo today. I appreciate you. Uh, Technical I'm issues, sorry. I know. No, no, I'm about yeah. to defend you. Technical yeah. issues, I know. Obviously, not in his uh, hands, you guys. He, he, you know, so he was texting me throughout. He wanted to make the show, but he couldn't. But big up to you, Jacob. We, he's going to text me his predictions. So will Ziad as well. So, yeah, big up. Love, my guy. Uh, big up, big up, big up. Bye-bye. Really. Anyway, my prediction. Mo laughed so much his camera. Start moving to 1933. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. There you are. This is what you get for cooking. There you are. Switch it back on. Be a man. Be a man. Switch it back on right now. Be a man. Fraud. Fraud. Is good. Anyway. The who's your daddy picture? Sad, give me your prediction. Bro, um, he looks he looks like he's a job he's about to drop a mixtape in the 90s with that picture. Right, wallahi, well, man said. <laughs> you know, you know the old school, you know the old school dances they used to do in the 80s, bro. Just about the sagar, makun insan jadid, o min awwal yanair, khalas hashil hadid. That's what the picture reminds me of, bro. Wallahi azim, bro. Hey, listen, my prediction, my prediction is 3-1 Liverpool, man. I don't think Man United are doing anything. They gave me no hope, bro. I pray that they do something and I'm wrong and I get no points for that. <laughs> oh, bro. Fuck, you know. Three, okay, Mo, give me your prediction. 3-1. 3-2, 3-2. 3-2 Liverpool. Three, two, Liverpool. Liverpool. Uh, what's your prediction, Ahmed? My prediction... What is Ahmed's prediction? I'm going to say 2 2 0 low. Let the guy predict about what's going on, man. You know what I mean? People want to know what I'm thinking in as well. I hope oh, you're no. all right and I'm wrong, but yeah, this is the banana skin. Yeah, we're anyway. underdogs. We're underdogs. Oh, He's been pushing that narrative skin. all, bro. All, ah, oh, it's crazy. Guys. You know what this guy said earlier? Oh, let me, let, let me expose this guy one more time. Today, he said, because his, his garbage logic to why. Injuries benefits us. He said we're gonna uh, um, go in a low block. I told him we, we're in a low block every game, anyways. The only the only thing is we look like a bagel because we have a low block and we press high, but then there's nothing in the middle because when you press, everyone's supposed to press. Or if you're in a low block, everyone needs to drop. We 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 do a hybrid, bro. We're the first hybrid, uh, high press, low block team in the team in in the league. Now, I told him. We had a low block. Did we have a low block against Brentford? Yes or no? He wouldn't answer. I told him, if Brentford could get 31 shots on us in a low block, <laughs> why can't you? And then I asked him, who has a better Liverpool. attack? He told me that three out of the two out of the three Brentford attackers are better than Liverpool. So he said, Tony and Buemo and Salah. That's the combined three. He's shameless, Wallahi. Wallahi That's shameless. not even a crazy take, by the way. I don't know why you're acting like it's a crazy take. It is a take. trash take. So, so who 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 gets who gets ahead of who? Hey, DST. Who, 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 Do you agree, man? Tony ahead of Nunez? Everyone agrees, Tony ahead of Nunez. That's about it. That's it. That's okay, yeah, yeah. Isn't and Buemo is Buemo nothing crazy. Buemo no, factually. So are we are, are we doing are we doing Buemo is not better than Diaz? Are we doing fit players or are we doing all your attackers? Sad. Or just the ones that are fit right now. We're doing fit player because obviously Jota is better than Buemo. Yes. Okay. Sad. Diaz is better than Bono, bro. Diaz Sad. Is, is this a crazy Bono, take? Mbuemo over Diaz is now crazy, yeah? They, they said Nunes are better than Mbuemo. And you know what this shameless guy said? He said, but you voted Mbuemo over Salah in team of the season. I said, no, motherfucker. We did it for the first 10 games when he had like seven goals. That's why we voted him in. No, no one mean, logically will ever think of Diaz as well. Yeah, Mbuemo, uh, uh, Diaz was Egypt. I love you all. I love all the Egyptians. 
He's hating on Egypt. On it's, you know, he's hating on his own country, but I, I love Egyptians. Big up Egypt. I love how you just oh, twisted it, even though no. I just said that, that Liverpool He said he's the anti anti Egypt. Anyway, yeah? can we move on? خلاص ما هو we have to do predictions يا أخي. Sad. Preview, yes. Habibi. Arsenal, Brighton. Brighton that Mo thinks is Barcelona, 1974. I want to see his prediction now. Anyway. <laughs> Arsenal travel to the Amex. Give me a 45 second pre- uh, preview and then a prediction, please. Bogey team. Um, yeah, listen, this this could <clears throat> this could be possibly a banana skin for us. <clears throat> it genuinely could. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, can oh my god! Can I finish? Eat shit. Can I finish? Eat shit. Can, I... Eat Bro, can shit. I finish? Can I finish? This could be a potential banana skin. Why don't for you us, guys but... cook him? Yalla, cook him. Bro, hold on, because I need to finish my thing. Okay. I'm, not gonna, I'm, not claiming, I'm not claiming I'm not claiming it's gonna be, but this could be a potential banana skin for us. However, I think we've gotten over that mentality block. We've gotten over these these mentality hurdles, bro, every single time. And I think we'll do it again. I I, th- I think we are on a roll right now. These guys have tunnel vision right until the end, man. So I don't think this game is gonna be uh, we rested a lot of players against Luton. We rested a lot, so I expect them all to come out and uh, be ready to play for that game tomorrow. Inshallah. So, um, yeah, I, th- I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna win this game. I'm gonna say it's two one. Um, they they come out to play Brighton. They always come out to play. Hassam said it himself, bro. If if Hassam's attackers could actually finish their chances, they had an ounce of clinical edge against with them, then they would have actually beat them like four or five. Yeah, nil. these are the same but, attackers. You want me to go like five in the Liverpool wins? Mm. But yeah, they're gonna come up against Liverpool. It's coming up against Man United, bro. Their midfield is open as a polo, bro. Please, what lie? Like? Uh, and Brighton's midfield isn't open. Did you watch the Liverpool Brighton game? The gap yes. between Liverpool yes. and United is not the bro. same as the gap between Brighton and Arsenal. Please. Please. Yeah, yeah, Arsenal and Brighton is actually a bigger gap factor. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, because it's if not. we play Brighton tomorrow, Come what would be the result? Bro, bro. This is Come why, this is why, it's sad, on. sad, this is why, this guy, if, if we made a prediction tomorrow for United-Brighton, what would you predict? Uh, where Same. is it? Old Trafford or, the, or, or Amex? Wherever you want. Because, Amex, by the way, they, they beat Brighton. us in Old Trafford 3-1, but go ahead. No, no, no. Amex, I would say 2-1 Brighton. Old Trafford, I'd say 2-1 United. Because Zeb will lie. Like it's... Bro, what do you mean, Kazab? I predicted a, a, a win literally last week against Brentford. You're just saying that, bro. No way you watched this against Brentford and Chelsea. Yeah, and Habibi, we're gonna I predicted be Brentford. a win. I, you know my prediction last week? 3-1 Man United win against Brentford. What do you mean, Kazab? I'm not lying. I don't care about that. I'm talking about since the Brentford game and the Chelsea game. No way you watched those two games and you're saying United would be uh, bright in the Man United are going to play in a low block. They will increase their abilities. To play we play in a low block every day yeah. better. Maho, what's different? What's different? Right, don't call these guys, bro. Okay. The My prediction for the for the Arsenal-Brighton game is a 3-1 Arsenal win. All this talk about banana skins is shameless from this sad guy after trying to cook me. Mo, your Broski, prediction. they done it last season, bro. So please. They done it when you gave up, basically. Manchester the United, one, you, awesome. you smack Manchester United left, right, and center every single time. So what you're Who saying makes no sense. Okay, Staffy. Uh, where is it again? It's it's at home or away? Alex. I'm gonna trust you guys this time, sound. To um. Two no Arsenal. By Actually, way, one nil, sorry. One Are nil, you saying nil. we're gonna, you're gonna trust us like as if we've been letting you down, bro? Just just because of your mentality hurdle that you talked about. That's no, we, okay, we, so... we genuinely have been, bro. Maha, that's why I'm we're, saying we're I'm trusting you. Yeah, yeah, we've been complimenting you. You're still upset. Kalas. I just said I'm gonna trust you. That's a compliment. Kalas, 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 kalas. <laughs> Are you done, sad? Kalas, look at look at oh my god! Look at Lewis! Look at Lewis! This fraud! I beg you, pull up his chat, bro. Look at this guy, bro. <laughs> Allah. I saw the screenshot bro. this and send it to me, bro. Send it to me. I need to see him saying that Arsenal need a win. I've never seen Lewis ask for an Arsenal win. You know why? Right because now, of baby yeah. They go. They go. <laughs> he got seven. I, Lewis is a fraud. Allah. You know what's funny? When he was on my channel for the preview, he was telling me how he was watching the Brighton Brentford game because he needs Brighton to drop points. <laughs> United fans were watching the game because they wanted to see how good Brentford are after they faced United. <laughs> and we were both talking about it. We were like, oh shit. So we both fan bases were watching the game for different reasons. Wallahi, bro, this is the most in the mud I've ever seen us. Embarrassing, bro. Embarrassing. <laughs> United defense is like alcohol and mocktails, non-existent. That banana skin isn't even slippery enough to slip. Hussam, you fraud. Factually speaking, this season we played twice against Man United, against weak teams just as much. And we got a total of one draw. 
at Anfield. So yeah, big up to you. We are beating Brighton 2 0, says Dio. I wanted to say 2 0, but then I was like, let me give Brighton a goal. And then uh, Arsenal counter attack goal at the end. So I said 3 1. Big up to you, Dio. Um, so next game, we will start with Staffy for this one. Actually, <laughs> no, we will start with Paul for this one. Uh, Crystal Palace hosting Manchester City. Um, By the way, sorry, Ahmed, give me your prediction as well for the for the Arsenal uh, Brighton. I need I need Arsenal to win. <laughs> Can't believe I say that. You are <laughs> shameless, bro. It's a shamelessness, <laughs> bro. It's crazy, man. Oh, Poch is killing me, my life, man. These players of Poch are killing me, man. Subhanallah, now you see Lewis in the chat, you see Poch is killing me. You're doing Poch in half an hour ago. <laughs> no, I said Poch under players. Hey, come on. Listen, oh, I don't hide. There you, are. The man there you are. Wait, wait. Why oh, do you I need Brighton to, to, to lose? What, where are you trying to finish? So be, They can go ahead of Brighton. Seven. No, 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 no. no. Even if... The, no, no, we would be joint with them, but it would just be like goal difference. That would be different. Even if they and you'll be sitting where seventh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're Once not really seven, playing for anything. You just want to look good. Listen, man. No, no. If you get seven place, <laughs> if you get seven place, yeah, yeah. that's what we're here for. Hey, so like, you try to be fuck. seven place. But sad. I'm not gonna lie. Sad. That's this downfall. Fucked. This downfall needs to be studied. And we we'll do the predictions. He wants to finish seventh, even though we won't get him anything. He just wants to look better. Spending no, a billion, spending a billion, and, and and hoping for hoping for Europe conference is crazy. Well, I, oh, you, you do. You do never hear it, bro. I'll lie. You, you, you get. You'll never hear seven. it, bro. We're gonna oh. apparently if they get the fifth spot, we get Europa League. So, hey oh. man, we need something, man. Listen, you know United I mean? in the, the season. United in the Conference League, oof, we're gonna hit different, bro. Kosovo, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> man said, oof. That's the vibe, John. Here we go, baby. You know, what I mean? Mate, bro. <laughs> hey, Wallahi, Staffy, Staffy's gonna be sitting there watch along. Bate Borislav, bro. <laughs> bro, bro Wallahi, I'm gonna be sending you Snapchats, bro. I'm gonna, st- I'm gonna be taking videos, smoking shisha at an Albanian spot. Oof, that's gonna hit <laughs> that. Bro, are we, uh, are we, get- are we getting the prediction from Ahmed? Finally, yeah, he already. Played. I said thirty-one, bro. All right, what next? <clears throat> You Palace City Palace City. No, is it my time? Man Crystal Palace no, it's my City. No, it's three, my time. 3-1. Man, uh, Manchester City. Yeah, Palace, yeah. Only you would say something. Staffy? Uh, one, one no, Man City. Sad? Uh, one, one. I'm one, going 2-2 two, two, draw. I'm, I'm going for nil, Man City. I need to get out of the relegation zone. And then he makes all these garbage predictions, bro. 2-2. Two, two. I, I say that 100 times I've told you this. At least imitate my accent. They're just going over vibes, isn't it? They just want them to... It's to my accent, not yours. So unlimited. Anyway, Sheffield, Chelsea. Ahmed, give me a preview, 30 seconds, and a prediction. Wallahi, man, this is the biggest game of the season. Bigger than Liverpool, in my personal opinion. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, this is our Man City game. Wallahi, it's going to be tough, man, you know. They're going to be in a low block. You know what I mean? I'm bred, inshallah. You know, we can unlock them. For me, 1-0 Chelsea, man. T- sorry, 2-1. I said 2-1 because I know they got to score. So, 2-1 Chelsea. Sorry, what's this for? Chelsea versus... Yeah, Sheffield at home to Chelsea. Very simple. Don't ask again. Focus on when I say the games. Yeah, you speak too fast sometimes, bro. Well, lie. This guy is trying yeah, to... Yeah, you speak too slow. Acting, we acting are... like he speaks too to fast. Together. Yes, exactly. It would be. Anyway, um, Chelsea, Sheffield. Oh, what are they going to do, man? I'm going to go for a Chelsea win. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Chelsea win. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Chelsea win. 2-1 Chelsea, Mo. 2-1 Chelsea. Staffing. Here we go. Mo's copying me again. He started. Um, started. I'm copying <laughs> 2-1 Chelsea. <laughs> I said... <laughs> yeah. You just hit his own mic. <laughs> yes. this guy, man? I'm gonna say three one Chelsea. That's my yes. Three one Chelsea. Uh, okay. Uh I'll start the next one. Let's go. This is actually a tough one to call. Fulham against Newcastle. Fulham are at home to Newcastle. Um shit, this is a difficult one to call because both teams are just so inconsistent. I'm going to just go down the middle, Desmond. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. Sad. Um, who play who? Fulham at home to Newcastle. 
Bro, you you don't know what Fulham you're gonna get, bro. I'm just Ottawa thinking at home. They're, they're, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. they're good at. I think they're good at home. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Three two to Fulham. Three two to Fulham. Mo. Two one Newcastle. Two one Newcastle. Staffy. Two one Newcastle. You're just copying Mo. Hey, look at us, Egyptian friends. Ahmed. Yani, how do you know I wasn't going to say that? Ahmed. <laughs> one one. Sam loves doing I need, need new cards to draw. I like Egyptian friends. <laughs> Al Yani, oh, I'm not one who's friends I... with Mo. <laughs> we are seeing the down right now. Let's go for us. Since Jacob is not here, let's go to the Spurs rap. Staffy, you start this one. Uh, Spurs at home to Nottingham Forest. Give us 30 second preview. <laughs> What would what would Jacob say if, if he was doing a preview? He'd be like, I want to burn down the forest. I'm gonna take a fire. I'm gonna fire it in the, the forest. Point. I'm gonna throw I'm some gonna gasoline on the this, this fraud, this fraud, no, no, it's pretty <laughs> Santo needs to hold that. Like, well, you know one it. thing I don't worry about? I don't worry about a bunch of trees. Because I'm going to go on the weekend. And Anto Sokoglu is going to be the best Shut impression up. of a lumberjack that he could be. Listen, Nuno Spirito Santo is a bum. And on the weekend, Anto Sokoglu is going to show why he's my <laughs> gaffer. <laughs> he's going to show why my, he's my gaffer. Uh, Hung Shun Min, Hung Shun Daddy, Young Min, I don't know whatever he said, else he says. Uh, the most clinical striker in the league. He's going to back for us. Uh, Vicario Sicario, blah blah blah, blah Um, best goalkeeper one in the one. league, clean one sheet, one. and I'm gonna back my team and I'm gonna say, um, 2 0. That's fantastic. Is that actually <laughs> your prediction as well? Yeah, yeah, 2 0. 2 0 Spurs, Mo? Uh, 3 1 Spurs. Sad. I think I think I think you not in the forest are gonna win this. I'm gonna go two one. Two one to not in the forest. I don't think I Sad think has ever win. predicted a win for Spurs on this show. Ever. ever. <laughs> ever. Have you ever done a Spurs win, Sad? I don't think he's ever huh? done it, bro. Have you ever done a Spurs win, Sad? Yellow Spurs, they can die slow. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> if if, if you have time Ahmed. on your hands, definitely do that before the end of the season. Uh, I want on the end of the season a comp of how many times Sad predicted a Spurs loss. Fake one v one demon is gonna come in clutch for me. You know what I mean? If you know, <laughs> if you know, you know. One v one demon, two two. Who's the one v one demon? Two two. Um, Callum you don't Matsunodo. know who the one v one demon is? Chelsea's ex one v one demon. Oh, Kalamatsu Nadoi. Come on, man. Um, I'm gonna go for a Spurs win Mudo. as well. But I think they concede, so I'm going two one Spurs. That's my honest prediction. I can't even comment. Um, <laughs> I he is better than Mudrug, bro. You can't tell. That's me. what I'm saying. I can't. That's why I said no. I can't even comment. I start this next one, Luton at home to Bournemouth. I'm going to go for a Luton win in this one. I'm going to go for a 3-2 Luton win. High scoring game. Sad. I'm going to go 2-0. Luton. Luton who? Luton, sorry. Uh, Mo? 2-1 Bournemouth. Oh, look at me. I'm different. Yalla, Staffy. 2-1 Bournemouth. Um... <laughs> 2-1 Luton. Luton yes. are home, right? <laughs> yeah, Luton are at home. Yeah, I Luton. think Luton, okay. Luton are good, bro. Ahmed? Score more goals than us. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. First. Uh, Staffy, Aston Villa at home to Brentford. Well, according to to you, they have a better attack than you. So, logically, I should say that Aston Villa are going to win. Uh, but um, Sorry, that Brentford are going to win. But Aston Villa will win. And I'll go with a 3-1 Villa. 3-1 Villa. Mo? 3-1 Villa. 3-1 Villa. Sad. Oh, you're copying Mo, Egyptian friends. Yalla, say it. Say now that Three. he's copying me. 3-1 Villa. He can't copy you because you're bottom of the league. 3-1 Villa. Everyone no, I'm not bottom of the league. You're bottom of the league. No, um, Aston Villa stink. I'm going 2-1 Brentford win. Going for the upset. Ahmed. I'm going for a juggler, mate. Three 0 Brentford, man. I believe Brentford, man. Come on. Three 0 London, West London, come. Well, you are playing for nothing, so it's okay to uh, say whatever. 
<laughs> professional <laughs> Dutch twerker from the red light district right here. Big up to you, TKA. Uh, hey, look at me, I'm Dutch. Kevin De Bruyne, like, oh, look at me, I'm Dutch. Why are you no, such, he's such a hater, bro? Why he's such Kevin a hater? De Bruyne. Hater, bro. He's like, not even Dutch. Bro. Why is such a hater, bro? He's faking oh. the accent. Uh, Wolves at home to West Ham. Notice how he went against TKA, who complimented me, but not the guy who said replace Staffy. He never said anything to that guy. No, I said we will not replace Staffy, but since it's smash him in other name. I need to start the stream if I want to have a talk. That's what I love about Mo. He extends every single conversation. It's my fault to be honest. And at the end, he has to go. Subhanallah. Staffy is too funny, bro. I know that. Mo is too much, bro. I will start this one. I'm going to go 2-1. Wolves win. Sad. Two and a half hours in a prediction stream. It's fine. I'm gonna go two one two two one two. West Ham, yeah. Umla Melis. Is that the Wolves are coming to West Ham? Ya Allah, you're so annoying. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna go two one Wolves. Eh. Mo. One one. Staffy. I'm not gonna lie. I blinked for a second. What game? Well, I blinked. Wolves at home to West Ham. Just say oh, what he's one. easy one for Wolves. No, no, no. Wolves will win. Uh, one nil Wolves. All right. Easy win, and then he says one nil. Yeah, Ahmed. it could be a dominant one nil. They just don't have their finishing boots on. Ahmed Habibi, you want to give us a prediction? Uh, I need a draw, Wallahi, man. One one, please. Bro, <laughs> Ahmed, you need a bro? Draw? Ahmed, Wallahi, Ahmed, Ahmed is at the bottom Wallahi. of this pit right now, bro. He's at the bottom <laughs> of this pit. Man's like, bro, these guys are my competition right now. I have to. <laughs> Ahmed, just let it go, bro. Really... Ahmed, wallahi, you gotta let it go, bro. Look at me. Look, look at how I don't care, bro. Just don't look at the table, bro. Just predict based on what you think. Don't, don't worry Staffy's about what you like, want. Ah, fuck it, it's bro. Bad. I okay, hope I don't Ever finish. Everton bro. Don't versus Burnley. Staffy starts. Everton at home. Everton yeah, at home. what a what Burnley. a shit game, bro. But this Everton are the shit is game of the league. And it's some yeah, good to park as well, bro. Like, yeah, bro, a well, lot Azim terrorist football we're gonna watch. Um, cancel this game, bro. Yeah, wallahi, bro. Sure, the tickets, man, the tickets are probably five pounds a game, bro, for you to go watch that football. Oh, fuck oh, this game bro. stinks just by the name of the two teams. Yeah, bro, wallahi. But you know what? Everton have a, I think Everton are on the are on their longest uh, non winning streak ever. Yeah, ever, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's time to break it because who else is gonna give them a get? Uh, I win other than the shit company. Burnley team. Yeah, yeah the gift the, the, the um, companies out here gifting everyone wins except Chelsea. He's uh, not even gonna be on the bench if I'm not mistaken. Maybe that no. works in in Burnley's favor then. Uh, you know what, bro? A shit house one nil for Everton. Why not? Let's go. Mo. One nil. Who? Two. Everton. Well, what was I, th I thought that was given. <laughs> not Stop really. <laughs> I'm gonna go one nil to Everton. Uh, no, it's one nil. It's the shittiest game, game of the history of the sport, dead. bro. No, a dead. corner kick to Everton. Ahmed, and... give me your prediction. <sighs> Sorry, man. This one we need the Super League. Bro. Be that hard, bro. Uh, one nil, one nil, one nil, one nil Everton, man. And you're, you're not competing somewhere... against none of these guys, Sam, bro. Sam, be different. What do you feel in your testing? What do you feel in your I don't. I, I say Everton two nil. Ignore the hummus. <laughs> I think I think uh, uh, look, Burnley... me, Sad, I know one Arabic word it's hummus <laughs> yeah, even Aaron knows hummus anyway oh, big up to all of you guys for, for watching us uh, we're going to be redirecting to Mo he's about to go live on his channel uh, big up to Honesty big up to, to, to Michael big up to Hector TKA Redline Taranga Josh uh, Ramem Dinishan Edgy uh, Aaron Steven Archer uh, big up to um, Nilutpal, Comedy and Curiosity, Dio, Essie, Fatur, Ed, Terence, uh, G, Pat, Yanis, Winter Surfer, uh, ZDT, Luke, and JJ Ash for the super chats. W's in the chat right now for Andrew and Josh for the big super chats and Winter Surfer. Everyone, please spam W's in the chat right now for all these three elite guys who dropped in big, big super chats today. Big up to you guys. All these guys' channels is in the description. Staffy TV is in the description. The Bridge is in the description. 
the football corner 97 footage at Mo. We're going to be liking to that as well. United Spurs of America. Hell, description. Ziad Zone is also in the description. Go subscribe to all these great guys. Double in the chat for all the people who have shown us all the love and support. We are 12 likes away from 600. Let's end the stream on 600 likes. Every single one of you guys right now, as you're exiting the stream, please hit the like button on your way out. So please like the video right now. Please subscribe to This Is Football if you're ready to do so. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be back tomorrow, inshallah, for the Palace uh, City watch along and then the Arsenal Brighton watch along, the title rivals. You get me? That's, that's who we're watching. Yalla. Peace out, Habibis. Peace out. Two collab.